Hey, whoever's in here, we're live. Y'all are going to have to go along for the ride to the fishing hole. Took, took them forever here at Calhoun. So, and then we changed our mind over where we're fishing because they're dropping the clinch to, so the rich people can work on their docks and stuff. So, hey, Bud Files. Hey, Random Fishing. Mike Young. But anyway, we're going to ride there and then uh, go fishing. We're Pulling out of Calhoun's and Oak Ridge. I wish I could uh, make that phone to where you guys could see the, the water. I'm trying to make it here to where it don't shake around as much. This is where they, uh, the rowing team, UT's rowing team, does all their practices and stuff. And all their competitions and all that. The Secret City. We're going to run down to Fox. Maybe we can get on a flathead there. The flatheads ought to be getting active. I think we could do, we'd probably do better if we had some live bait, but we'll see. They'll eat cut bait too. They just may not right away. See the boats? Penelope's in my dash. She always watches while I drive. Watches me. She don't watch where we're going, though. Mike Young, we worked on your thing today. So he may bring it to, hey, Mid-South. He may bring it to me Wednesday so that I can uh, take it and see about getting it shipped. He should have a box and everything made by Wednesday. Mid South, how's your recliner feeling? I'm too full. I had boneless wings. The not they have like nachos we had for an appetizer. They're like barbecue nachos. And then I had boneless wings and a piece of Snickers cheesecake. I only ate a little bit of the Snickers cheesecake, though. I got a to-go box. I'll be eating that stuff tomorrow. A bunch of my wings, too. Me and Travis... <laughs> Y'all, I imagine it's not going to float away with you in it. But it does, you do need to invent a whole self driving recliner. I can see you now going down the road in that recliner. <laughs> hey, Morgan. Well, see, the thing about it is we've got to get to the water. Dinner went a little long because our waiter was new. Seems like he had to make a special trip for everything, so. Hey, BFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
we were going down to our channel cast spot, but they're already, they dropped the clinch for like two or three weeks every year so that people that own lakefront property can work on their docks and do any kind of maintenance that they need to do. Only time of the year they drop the clinch. Well, they've already started dropping it. So when they start dropping the water like that, you might as well forget fishing. So we changed our mind about where we're going. We do that all the time anyway, though, forever. So we're headed down there. We went to Calhoun's on the river in uh, Oak Ridge. I think Travis is pretty full. He's probably pretty miserable. But I try not to overeat too much. I just ate a couple bites of everything and then brought the rest home in a, in a box for tomorrow. Yeah, they have good food. Is that too bouncy there? I've got one of those uh, phone holders that hangs on your rear view mirror. But it seems like the roads are rougher than they used to be, and I'm feeling like you're getting a lot of vibration. Hey, Mr. Rogers. The good thing about it, though, is the phone is kind of like right in your view. So you don't really have to look off the road to glance at your phone if you happen to be having to do a live. We're sitting at the table, I'm like, I showed Travis, I said, it's 10 minutes till 7. I'll be watching. I enjoy. Hope you get on them. Oh, watch. What? Should you go to East Creek? What's that? We're actually going to Fox. Mr. Rogers said, good luck to y'all. Hope you get on them big old flatheads. That's the hope. Last night it was what? Three or four little blues. And then that sturgeon. That sturgeon was awesome. Did you get your honeydew chores done, Morgan? When you get there, show us your phone holder. I sh I'll do it. Keep your guard up tonight. Uh, yeah. I can't be getting punched again. <laughs> I put a short out of that and it absolutely flopped. So far. Sometimes it takes them a couple of days. We actually get to see our good Travis traps. <laughs> Y'all wish me luck this week. Working in the uh, longer days again. Five to four tomorrow. Hoping they don't put us on 12s. My work is never done. I'm a slave to my honeydew. She keep you busy, Captain Morgan. Quit slacking. <laughs> Did 
Do you keep Randy busy with a bunch of honeydews there, Lisa? Travis only has put up with my honeydews a couple days a week unless I have vacation time or something. Unless it's split 50 50. Well, like if we have projects at the house, me and Travis both jump in and work on it and stuff. Fishing, he does a lot of the work while I do the live stuff, but um, I think cooking like at his house and stuff, it just whichever one of us happened to be close to the kitchen. Captain Weenie, do you? <laughs> I gotta let some air out of my tires. I bet you never hear that. I'm gonna change the air in my tires. I have old air in my tires. <laughs> but I, I, I filled them up. I put enough air in them. And then it got warm and now there's too much. Hey, Dale. Hey, Slip. I work my butt off all week. If I want to go fishing, I'm going fishing. No matter what needs done. Exactly. Now, you know, the absolutely have tos are things that, you know, you have to do. But otherwise, always put that stuff that brings you joy up there ahead of some of that BS that don't have to be done right now. Life's too short not to. Given the option to stay home and do chores that can be put off or go fishing, I'm always going to choose fishing. That's, it wasn't always that way. But it is now. Captain, keep dreaming. You can't have my truck. <laughs> oh, your truck, I may upgrade. <laughs> Why is he coveting your truck, Lisa? Everything blooms out so fast. One week it'll be like everything's bare, and the next everything's like pop. I'm so excited about spring. Because he likes it. <laughs> There's a random guy in my chat that's awesome. No matter what he says about himself. <laughs> Thanks. I was going to get a bigger boat. My dreams are shattered. Oh, you got the big ram back on the road. Oh, that's awesome. No more struggling to pull the the tune up the boat ramps with that little SUV. Got the muscle going again.
that's what I'm here for. <laughs> here to, to shatter your dreams, Lisa. <laughs> you can go anywhere now. It don't have to be, uh, it can be them steepo ramps. Woo oh man, we didn't get any lottery tickets. Travis was out there working on that, uh, rod holder before we left. We didn't even stop by the store. Crap it. Just certain people's dreams. <laughs> Lisa's the pin in the balloon. <laughs> You're going to get an ocean liner. <laughs> Captain Morgan's Titanic the second. There's a law. See you later, copper. That's a Clinton police. What's he doing way over here? Stop it, clicker. It's not too far down here. You're funny. You can afford an ocean line, you can afford a truck. That's true. Hey, hunting stuff. We're back to the fishing hole. I don't think it's supposed to get too chilly tonight. Maybe I won't have to put all that stuff on. My bibs got sturgeon slime on them. Hey, Adventures America, what's going on? Welcome in. Everybody will be at the fishing hole momentarily. We were going to go fishing up on, uh, it was, it's a place called Bull Run Creek. Um, but once a year, they drop the levels of that place, of the Clinch River down so that people can work on their docks and do maintenance and stuff. And we noticed they had already started dropping it. So we made the decision to come down here where at least the water levels have been fairly consistent. They should start bringing them up in April. And then the fish will be crappy again there till they adjust to it. Maybe it will. We'll take them all up. What's up, Angela? Welcome in. Thanks for coming. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. I can't wait to get off the road again. They're going to Tesla. What's up, Tony, Tony, Tony? I did a California stop at that stop sign.
episode. Everybody have a good Sunday. There's the link. Our dinner went a little long. We were late getting there because there was a wreck at the intersection of uh, right there in Jacksboro before we get on the interstate. And the interstate was backed up, so we had to make two detours. Well, there's somebody over. Sort of on the place where we uh, fix. Just got done crocheting a witch's hat for Miss Modo. Oh, that sounds awesome. I love crocheted stuff. So, let's Driving through the field. Tony said, I'm leaving from Clark's, leaving Tennessee from Clarksville. Hey, Miss Joan. You know, Johnny Smith, small pepper, 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 pepper. I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so that I mean it's true. Hard to catch fish on blacktop. What you been you been fishing in Clarksville, Tony? I had a good day. I slept in, had my subscription set to alphabetical order, and for some reason you show up at the end, Anthony, not sure why. That's so weird. We're here. It's always chillier by the lake at the time for my jacket. I'll be posting a video of my projects eventually. Cool. Now we're fishing at the lake, Pepper, Pepper, Pepper. I haven't seen Johnny live in forever. Went to Mission Barbecue Spot. Not sure, Anthony. A lot going on. All good, but busy like everyone. Randy said to take your scale and dip net. We're right here. We won't be moving. I mean, we'll be right at the car, but we'll have it. Okay, Lisa. Here, well, I got a bunch of stuff hanging from it, but. There is my. See it? It goes on the back of your rear view mirror. I got all kinds of stuff hanging on it, but and then you can take and turn that sideways. That's it. Then you hang your comb and your spare hair clip from it. <laughs> They left it kind of trashy, hadn't they? This is where they have the little, uh, great video of the sturgeon. I'll tell you what, that was something. It was cool. I don't think I've really. It's been years since I saw sturgeons that big. And we used to have a young neighbor boy that would go, we'd flush them out of the 
creek banks and uh, he'd jump on top of them, but that's been so long ago, I forgot what they look like. Hello, Miss Say. Hey, yeah, I'm ignoring your husband. Oh, you got the bait out. Mm -hmm. And you're fast. Go ahead and pull uh, tiger rods. Yeah, go ahead and pull your uh, rod holder. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. That does look more green. I think it's because of that undercolor. What was cool green? My rod holder. Oh. Oh, it's probably you. It is probably green. It is. See the Cabela's bag? Let's see. What are they all saying? It's uh, on a 12 inch back with one inch sharp and the other threaded male, one quarter inch 20. Okay. Okay, Greg Burgess. Thank you for coming in. A great idea. You just need someone to make it for you. A 12 inch spike. Where is that 12 foot? I can't see. That would allow a selfie stick to work like a monopod. Hey, Jefferson. Troy said, okay, I'm listening. Buy some all trade stock and sharpen one in mid. Okay, the um, Cabela's bag that I want on Mo Dogs from Hitch by Hitch. Look at this. It's kind of awesome. I keep my rebar in there for my rod holder. And then it's got my, I got a catfish box and a carp box, even though I haven't served carp fishing yet. Where do you want me to put this? Uh, Rod holder. Right here. Yeah, we'll put it where you can go. I'm going to this one over this way. I would have got it out, but I'm wanting to use uh, 
Give my Okay, I'll wait. Okay, I'll wait. Deal with that. Okay. There's a kind of tail. <laughs> okay. Quarter inch. Yeah, I won that from hitch by hitch. It fits everything for the catfish and stuff perfect. So what you're saying is I got to do it myself. You understand the depth of my laziness? <laughs> Piece of ready roll that's a quarter inch. Your tapping fingers are not lazy mid sales Troy said. <laughs> Quarter inch is small enough, you probably wouldn't need a point on it. What are you making, Red South? Hey, Ken. What's going on? John Boys, what's up? Hey, Moss, welcome back. Glad to have you. This has been a, a uh, this spot, I don't know about tonight, and there's been a few times, but it's always been kind of uh, consistent. It's a go-to for if you just want to catch fish. But there's, it's also a, a good place for flatheads because over on this side, on this, we're on the side of a point. Over on this side, is there, there's like eight catfish boxes over there. So the uh, fish move in here pre-spawn, kind of stacking up by the boxes. Hey, Earn Diesel. So you pull a, we pulled a few 20 pound flatheads out of here, nothing really much bigger than that, but that don't mean they're not here and we can't catch them. I wouldn't have thought I would catch a big old sturgeon downtown Knoxville either. That was going to slap me right in the face. It looks like there is some skipjack out there. Tony said, all that thread isn't going to keep you in the kayak, Mid. You're still going swimming. <laughs> skipjack out there. I saw that. Let me mess with my picture here and see if I can make sure we're, we got the best camera angle going is that too far away looking guys or does that look okay let me know Jefferson said Travis just hit something out there yeah there was something splashing skipjack look like Angela said hello Travis hello <laughs> hello you got me working. Mid South said, Why is Tony so mean? Looks good. Okay. The other one was a little too close, but that one night at the steam plant, I had this view of the of the rod zone. I was like, Can't see them. What's going on? And I never thought to check that other view. So I try to do it every time now. But if I'd have switched views, you guys could have seen a whole lot better. Hey, Mike Young, the one of your, the, um, your rod holder is going to look a little more yellow than that one. That one is painted with well, yellow. I get a little bit more green. I can hit it with that green. He can hit it with the green. Yeah. But, um, that, that yellow was bright, bright though. Yeah. He On that one, he put a, a darker base coat and it made the yellow look more green. And he's got a light base coat now. So. If you look at hers real good like there, it's kind of yellow and green. Yeah. Together. Did y'all hear that I won Boring's 500 or 1500 sub giveaway? The one he hasn't had yet? That sturgeon tried to slap me. That sturgeon did slap me. 
You got right in the old kisser. Hey, AA, you're like Anthony, but you don't suck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mid South, he just does things on the, uh, on the hope. He says things to try to have a positive attitude about women. The fix is in, Cindy. You're the best mid cell. <laughs> Must have fallen asleep before the starting fun. Yep, it was three hours. I got it time stamped on the video. So, or on the live. But it's the whole whole thing is time stamped, so it's like 15 minutes long. But uh <laughs> I didn't, you know. I call it our kids and take credit for part of it because I got to fight it, but it's cool. It was cool. If all you suckers will sub to boring, I can win. Uh, Moss, yes. We just started a. I saw the post program. I was like. Hmm. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah, I got a 15-minute video out of that. Oh, man, that bird. Did you see it? Mm. It hit the water hard. Oh. Yeah, he did. Look, he can barely s fly with it. <laughs> it, it. It flipped with him, and he was like, oops, I'm about to hit the water. Oh, he did it again. Huh? Guard dogs? Thank you, Tony. It's cool. I'm giving away some lures and stuff. Probably real nothing too fancy since I'm a broke boy. I got to get some lures. I need to go and buy some lures. Because I think that's what I'm going to give on my membership giveaway. I appreciate all my members. Thank you for becoming a member, Troy. I don't know. I, I noticed it last night. But I don't know if I really, really thanked you for it. But I appreciate it. It helps. Every little bit helps. Travis even makes a model that you don't have to keep 800 yards from the water. <laughs> Travis sells them, but you got to send all the materials. No. <laughs> Just have to check the video out. I have to get in that one boring, How to Meet Mid and South. I need to put an order in, Moss said, for another rod holder. <laughs> he makes a... Uh, Ones that hold two rods, three rods, four rods. His is it holds four rods here. The one that's unpainted, that's the first time I ever did. That's just for him. But you can talk about it in a minute there, too. What are we talking about? Rod holders. Uh, oh, the moth said you need to put an order in. We like I'll untangle it. Hold on. Okay. Sit here and keep up the chat. Thank you, Troy. Y'all, y'all have some awesome uh, views and stuff on your channel. Y'all are off to a real good start. You got some uh, really good material. Just picked up everyone I wasn't already sub to. What's up, Jay Butt? No. Boring said it'll be a pop-up. I'm not even scheduling it. Make sure that you turn on subscribers only, too. Boring, don't let people that aren't subscribed to your channel win nothing. At least, uh, the least they can do is subscribe. Okay, Moss. Uh, either... If you really want... He'll talk about the rod holders in a few minutes when he's... mid cell said pineapple, Miss A.A. Can see how sexy I am. 
64 subscribers. Awesome. The problem it is the shipping, really. Shipping, yeah. yeah. That's the only thing we're worried about. He's pretty affordable, yeah. real affordable on the price. The price is going to vary a lot depending on what I was about. Yeah. Uh, Bare bones without being painted. Painted, it makes it just a hair more. To, but, um, But they're super easy. Depends on how handy you are, how what you want to do, what you don't want. Right. But I mean, they're super easy to use. You drive a couple of these pieces of rebar in the ground, you slide your rod holders onto the onto the rebar, and you're ready to go. You saw how quick he had them up. If you get your own rebar, we can go with tractor spine, get you a piece of that did too, or whatever has been studied. Yeah, they can cut the rebar at tractor supply. Yeah. Where the ship is probably going to cop, but we're going to figure that out this week sometime. Channel Cat City and Flathead City, Rudd. There is a, uh, uh, there's eight boxes around the corner here. I've caught, I've caught flatheads here. And they should be moving in here any time now. They'll be staging up here around where these boxes will get covered up soon. Mid-South said, I didn't realize the good half of A.H. had a channel. I subbed, I'll be stalking you. <laughs> he was supposed to come to dinner with me today. To steal me away from Travis. Yes, there's catfish boxes right around the corner here. This right here, you know, we're on the side of this little peninsula. And on the end of it is catfish boxes. Like eight of them. The water's just not up enough for them to get in them box. No, but they'll be coming up in here to stage up for them. As the water warms up, they'll be up in these backwaters. That's what we're counting on right now. As far as I'm concerned, somebody can come and tear the catfish box down. Yeah, we don't clean up enough for the catfish box. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to mess with them. I don't mind, but I don't care for them. Um, my problem with the... Uh, Grappling. The grappling is that they're going to serve the fish. And that they won't complete their nest. cycle, the nesting cycle. And they won't go back and protect their eggs or the baby. Yeah. And people are brave that stick their hands in there because it could be a big old turtle laying back in one of them things. But, I mean, legal, so I'm not going to mess with They knew a lot of them, yeah. They go there to spawn. You think it disturbs her? We don't have any idea who made them. Well, I kind of got an idea. Oh. Moss can meet to pick up a Knoxville. Yeah, he's on Chapman Highway. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, then that, yeah, shipping won't be an issue with you. <laughs> Just, uh, my name is uh, Cindy Cook on Facebook. If you want to, if you want to send me a, a friend request and or Travis Dyer, so Angela said, I look at it as more views mid south. Went and bought some of the giveaway stuff today. Also got some rigging for shark fishing. My daughter still wants to catch a shark. Awesome. You can't can't take Christmas trees on, on the lake, but you can set boxes in. Yep, I, I reckon. If you don't get caught, you can do whatever you want to, I reckon. <laughs> Brad said you can't put Christmas trees out on the lake, but you can uh, set out boxes. I see people do it all the time. On their boats, they'll have them Christmas trees. Red, you're only trouble if you get caught. Jefferson said it's funny how happy the noodlers are to have their arms chewed up. I know it's crazy. Tony said sharks are fun, boring. 
Mid South said, "Rug, you're confusing legality versus ability." Be nice to have a train bot. <laughs> Troy said, "Mid South is so much fun. I look forward to seeing him in chat. I like having Mid South in my chat. It's not gonna be boring with him in here. That's for sure." You just can't take Mid-South seriously. One week till I apply for the loan and two weeks till I get it. Awesome. Boring my issue with sharks is identification so I don't try to harvest the wrong ones. You still got to catch one though. <laughs> Dred said I always get caught. That's, that's me. It's been a few years since I caught a shark, Boring said. Legally, I had the right to remain silent, but I didn't possess the ability to. <laughs> you are so brave setting that before you tie. You're going to get clunked in the head. Mid-South is Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> JBT. <laughs> we catch and release Mid-South. Yep. Hey, Tony, don't be putting them up in my chat. You better throw some pineapples up to counteract that. They put pineapple. I mean, banana. skunks. Mm. Skunks. <laughs> <laughs> no. JBT, yeah, we both flirt and never catch anything, Mitzel said. <laughs> At this point, though, I'd be happy to catch some channel cats. There's a beaver in there. Yep, I see him. Might not be a beaver, might be a rat. Nutrius? You know, I think we, a lot of times we've been mistaken Nutrius for well, beavers. Yeah. We get a bite already? Um, if you don't see the tail, they said, the, the big flat tail. Then uh, it's a nutrient, probably, especially if it's bigger, kind of. The reason I say it may not be a beaver is because it looks small. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a young beaver. But I don't know. There's, there's a lot of beavers. What's up, Frizz? No, don't let JBT see me. Okay, I'll, I'll quit reading your stuff, your name out loud. Thank you for throwing the pineapples up there and counteracting all them skunks. Is it Mid, Wilson? Mid-South said, but yes, it is. If I, if I could teach the world one thing, it would be you can't talk yourself out of being arrested, but you damn sure can talk them into arresting you. That's a fact, Jack. I used to make sea bass jaw mounts from those big fish we caught long leader gear. Wow. WT said, I wish your butthead self was in my tourney yesterday, Cindy. Would have saved me two hours and you would have had a mad cat's rod, you turd. Mm. <laughs> well, what makes you think I could have caught anything? I got two mad cat's rods in the trunk here. We ain't got real long now. Oh, you still didn't bring the other anvil rods. Captain Morgan said, Travis, hurry it up. Time's a wasting. <laughs> How are things, CBA? <laughs> Mid South, if you see a pineapple in front of an RV, they might be your type. I thought uh, it was upside down pineapples. Yeah, it's got to be upside down pineapple. Mid -south. Johnny said, hitting sub counts is like eating teeth. That takes a lot of work. <laughs> Angela said, there's some truth there. Mid South said, I don't eat teeth. Hey, that guy we were fishing next to yesterday had some beaver teeth. Man, they're awesome, wild looking. No wonder Indians used to use them in, in making stuff. It had like orange on it. They were. They were it was something. 
if that RV is a rocking and Mid South's gonna come a knocking. <laughs> What's up, the animal? Not the animal. The animal. Mid South said, "I can't satisfy a single woman. I sure don't want to uh, compete with her husband." <laughs> Animal said, I just got done buying a new TV and other things for the new house. Got Chinese food and on the way home. That's the fun stuff. Upside down pineapple is a swinger symbol. Yep. That's why we keep ours right side up. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. They lost the reel. Remember, I... Look, it's been in there a long time, too. There ain't much of it left. Look at that. It's itty bitty. Let's look, see what it was. Look at that. What is that all over it? The little marks. Or the core or whatever the handles actually eat out of it. Huh. Okay. It was look at that. Somebody's gonna tell us what kind it is before I scrape it off and look. They will. You bought a house animal? I don't think it's no expensive deal anywhere but uh, it don't look like it i will sell this to somebody <laughs> it still turns down here just so you know boring said it's a zebco is that what it is <laughs> keep doing that <laughs> 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 um, what happened to that green rag? I, I don't know. You always hide stuff. From me. <laughs> I do not. Yeah, you do. There's probably something in my trunk. There's lots of stuff laying around here, but I'm afraid to pick. I would not up. touch them. That's what I said. I'm afraid to pick any of them up. There's. Uh, hang on. I got a wipe. Let me grab. Looks like somebody took a trap and threw the wipes everywhere or something. We definitely gonna have to start for. Yeah. Here you go. Man, she handed me one off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be crying about it. <laughs> okay, here goes. We'll reveal it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think it's revealable anymore. That one's been in there a while. An MSP602M. Hmm. That's what it says, people. <laughs> Can they see that? She don't help you as much, does she? I mean, not really, no. There you go. Now you, you can see it see now? It. Sort of. Okay, that's what's on the rod right there. I can't read anything on the uh, real Shakespeare, John Boy said. I did show a Travis the Spoonbill you uh, snagged off Spoolie Spoon. That thing is awesome. Yeah. That was today. Dana said, try to come back. Okay, pull in the driveway, go unload and eat. Good luck, Cindy and Travis. Thank you. Thank you, the animal. The animal. Well, unfortunately, if it is a Shakespeare reel, we have no markings, as we can see. <laughs> Probably somewhere, but I'm not going I don't think it's worth revealing. Hey, it even had a full thing back here. Dale said, just don't wipe your face with it, Travis. 
Count stinks. See, she picked it up off the ground. Somebody, somebody used that already. <laughs> Tony said it's an ugly stick. I wish it wasn't so far in the water over there where they built that little whatever that is over there. Well, it's definitely an ugly stick. It's ugly as it can be. You can beat somebody with it and probably make them ugly. <laughs> Look it. Troy said ugly sticks are awesome. JBT said uh, lick it. And Tony caught that spoon bill this morning. Y'all should see this spoon bill. Hey, Chris and Telly. You should see this. Oh, you don't be showing them duck poop, that's, goose poop. That's goose poop. Don't be showing them we'll goose start poop. Forward, goose poop. Lord have mercy. I can wipe my hands off. Part of fishing, people. Just remember, ugly stick is on duty. I'm going to put it over there with the guard dog. Mintel said, that's not an ugly stick. It's Travis. If they had had a guard dog, they wouldn't have lost their ugly stick. JBT said, lick it. It might give you a high like a frog. Well, you probably have a real good eye after a few days. <laughs> boat bite. Boat bite, boat bite. Catches a skipjack. Catches a skipjack. I might be able to go over on that one. I don't think I can over. I'm trying to get on this point over here. And stuff that ugly stick. Anthony, is my camera on? Not really sure, honey. <laughs> Just make sure nobody beats you with it. You don't want to get beat with an ugly stick. You know, I hate the bugs and stuff, but I, I really cannot wait till the water warms, or weather, not water, weather warms up just a hair more where I can sit out here without worrying about the temperature. It was an absolutely beautiful day here. Sunny. Warm. I'm tickled to death about that. Next weekend is a three-day weekend. Easter weekend. So I'll have. I'll be coming up here Thursday night. So maybe I'll only have to work four 11-hour days. Oh. Good bite on that first, that last rod. I like that because it's one out there at the point. It's most likely to be a more likely to be a, a flathead than anything else, but it bit like a channel cat. So, but I don't care if I'm just after if I'm getting shorts material and stuff, which I got some from our fishing trip last night. But channel cats do better than any other. I got less than 50 views on my sturgeon now. It may still take off. Some of them have been waiting 24 hours or so before they pop them into the shorts feed. But uh, channel cats get good views. I'm glad we're getting bites, though. Fish are moving around. The clinch is kind of going to suck until they get they raise the water levels back up on it, and that's where the skipjack are. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. I have to get up at 3.40 in the morning, y'all. <laughs> that's going to be fun. 
It's been a good weekend, though. I've enjoyed myself this weekend. It's been relaxing. I did get to catch some fish, and that was good. That always works toward my peace of mind. Oh, hey, Slip. It doesn't look like you have a wrench. Do you not have a wrench? Haven't you had one in here before? <laughs> What's going on? So what's your trooper? I hope <laughs> that I make it, that I'm enough of a trooper to not just fall down when I walk in the door next week. <laughs> I do make it pretty good on like four hours of sleep every night during the week. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Your rum is delicious. <laughs> hey, Scotty. Where's Scotty? Somebody tricked me into saying, hey, Scotty. <laughs> That's great, Troy. Hello, Captain. Your rum is delicious. I don't like to have Captain Morgan spice rum. Oh, would you find some wood? A little bit. That one piece is pretty. With the grooves in it? Mm hmm That'd be pretty a shelf made out of it. Hint, hint. I think it's a piece of one of them. Tony said, my father and I have caught a lot of sturgeon in the San Francisco Bay. I showed your short, Cindy. He was laughing when the tail got you. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I've been slapped. I think they do it on purpose. I really do. You can say what you want to about their tiny fish brains, but... I've had I've been slapped by too many catfish and fish to for it to. <laughs> it's heavy. Look at this piece of wood. It's cool looking. That's a uh, last rod was a minute ago. Is that what? The, is that the one that was this time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got jerked pretty good a second ago. Ed, Adventure America, Johnny Small Pepper, uh, Adventure America, Troy and his missus. They have they go to a lot of places and they have some beautiful scenery in their uh, content. He's not here. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> when he comes in, I'll have to say hi to him every 10 minutes. Got him. <laughs> Angela said, Troy figured he better say hello in advance. Just in case he's lurking, he'll come in. And you, I've been in here for a half hour and you haven't said hi yet. So, yeah. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. What's up, Scotty? Hey, Scotty. What does John Boy said, what type of work do you do, Cindy? I work in a factory that makes VW car seats. For the Atlas in particular. We make seats for the VW Atlas. So I work on an assembly line. We supply a Volkswagen Chattanooga. It is revenge for catching them, Angela. Can't down to turn turn down fifty percent at Domino's Pizza. Yeah. They had that uh 50% on everything that you order online last week. Tony said, weather Cindy's house. Weather for Ho. Conditions are partly cloudy with a temperature of 80 degrees. The wind is blowing from the south-southwest at 4. 
And the current humidity is 84, and I love Ho. It's a bucket list item now for me to go there. <laughs> Another bucket list item. I remember that the other day we were, one night in chat, we were talking about like attainable bucket list items. Like one of my bucket list items is to go see the red, redwood trees. That may or may not be attainable. I mean, it is, but. I just don't know whether she loves Ho or not. I stopped on the side of the road and was in a car. And that woman had a short dress on, and she didn't care much for it when I stopped. <laughs> you gave a hoe a ride one night when I wasn't even around. I don't think she was a hoe, though. She wasn't a hoe? Well, that's even worse. <laughs> but anyway, I want to take it. I want to, I've never flown. I think, I think that girl kind of got tricked or something right there. I've been in a helicopter, but I've never flown on a plane, so I'd like to fly somewhere and then just fly back. Adventure America just joined your channel. Yeah. He did. I think he did yesterday. It's awesome. Hey, Willie! Willie, Willie, Willie! Hey, Willie. You got me over here. Yeah. I uh, messaged and thanked him. I have awesome members. I can't believe people... I mean, like, I don't know. I'm still kind of in awe at this whole thing. At the support and everything that we get. And the excellent lives and stuff that we have. And all the good people that come in and talk with us while we're doing this thing. Best pizza you ever had was the Little Caesars food truck at Knob Nostra, Missouri. <laughs> That's cool. Especially since it was Little Caesars. Flying is cool, but the Air Force is no fun at all. If all by yourself anyway. Um, I went on a, it was just like Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge. I went in a helicopter up there. And we just went up in like a circle. Oops, getting a pie. Look, Did like a small a circle and then landed. Wow. Is it wet? It's doty. That's doty wood right there. That's what it, that's what it means. Okay, I have found her notorious doty wood. Have you ever seen, okay, it's like wood that, you see that? Where he's digging the wood out and it's just turned all fibrous and stuff. My mom used to call that Doty wood. Hey, Maria. What's up? Thank you for coming in. Because it's Doty. It burns up real fast. It's no good for like burning in a wood fireplace. Because it just. Maria said, Travis, hi. I'm way behind. I'm not either. <laughs> Tony, your turn. <laughs> Like Morgan said, you're right. The worst woman is a tease, Travis. <laughs> yeah, that's what Listen, I'm no tease. What's up, Skip? Skippity Skip. Thank you for coming in. We are going to need a light in a minute. Don't look like it on the camera. Those are awesome for growing plants, Cindy. Yeah, because that's almost dirt in there. Yeah, they're out, they're real good for growing plants. Travis burn it. They call that driftwood up here burns up in seconds. Yep. Should I talk about driftwood, Travis? No. <laughs> you won't let me talk about driftwood. Mitchell said, "Weather Cindy's but humidity." So it said, weather for Lindsay's. Most of the cloud was 29. Oh, no, that's cold. Wind, wind's warm from the west at 3 and humidity 63. No, we don't like Lindsay's. We'll stick with Ho. Thank you. Isn't it funny that her name is uh, Miss Adventures? <laughs> Weather for Manhattan. Yeah, Rebel River Cats. Hey, welcome in. 
you when you put it? in a weather for a weather hail you call that turtle wood it says manhattan why does it look like a turtle it's driftwood you want me to talk about it mm -mm. are you sure oh man that last rod got jerked yeah hail comes up as manhattan y'all misadventures the uh, given name is angela and uh america Mi adventure america is troy Metzel says we weather cindy's whole butt <laughs> the weather from pierre marquette charter township is 31 still too cold mid south <laughs> 31 degrees there <laughs> Dobson said, what you smoking on? Just this fire over here. <laughs> Skip said, man, last night I happened to be in Rustic Slav and entered the giveaway that John Oiler did, and I won a $100 Bass Pro Shop gift card. Awesome. I was, uh, that's awesome. What's the count, Skip? It was meant to be a funny name. It is a funny name. I like it, misadventure. A little bit later on in the summertime on the waters back up here. Man, the, there's lots of rats because this is a field. They'll just be running back and forth on them rocks and they'll come to a spot where there's no rock, but there's water and they'll jump in, swim and come back out on the next rock, take off down the bank. So funny. Who was it that was afraid of them? Jacob. Let me run. I don't remember if, if Rudd was, but Jacob definitely was. Boring said, I just bagged the whole kitchen size trash bag of empty water and pop bottles for my living room. It's amazing how fast they build up. <laughs> yeah, for real. 249. Mid-South said they got a 35 pounder and a 38 pounder. Oh. Can't beat that. Nothing. Morgan said, where are, you, where are you at? Don't tell me you're on the water. We're down here at uh, Fox, Fox, Fox Road. Where are you Hi. at? Captain Morgan's at home. Oh. You know. I Captain at home. Captain Morgan said, I want a Mad Cat's rod. Did you? Yes, yeah, Maria. Everyone, please hit that thumbs up and share the love for Cindy and Travis. Well, thank you. Skip said, "Yeah, I'm, so I'm going to be buying some terminal tacker and some good tackle and some good line for my cat reels. Cool. An air raffle might be fun there then." <laughs> mm -hmm. Got you playing on the big TV, okay, Ken? Who got a 35 and a 38 pounder? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Lisa said, yeah, Captain Morgan's at home. He's got a list to get done now. Randy said, yeah, but Captain, you can't go use it without permission. Oh, Mid-South said, Cindy, that was y'all's fish count. If they can't watch from the beginning, they don't get to know. Oh. <laughs> right? From Fresnel. <laughs> Willie said, I'll smoke for you then. <laughs> okay. How about it? Tony said, Miss Adventures, do you wear a superwoman kind of suit? Well, you know, I actually, she could probably crochet a superwoman suit. I want Travis to crochet me a blanket. I can crochet Granny Square. If I just keep getting bigger and bigger with it, it'll make a blanket, huh? Skip said, I have a pin rival bait caster. I can't remember what the series is, the pin reels, but what pound test should I put on it? Sorry. 
There you go. Fast answer. 30 is always the answer. 30 is always the answer. Fast Pro 30. Uh, what Phil is it? Offshore. Offshore. Angler. Best language. Willie said, did y'all pee in the water? Yeah, I did just a second ago. Skip said, Brother Willie, take up for me. I'm at work. Tony said, I'm going to lose signal. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, that's better. I didn't know if I could get away with putting a light over on the car or not. Mid South said, Anthony, why are you asking about her kinks? LOL. <laughs> Chat is flying. <laughs> Angela said, LOL, probably could, Cindy. What? I should have remembered what I'd put on what. Oh, yeah. Well, you know these over here are thread pin, aren't they? Skip said, yes, mm -hmm. it's offshore. Yeah. Randy that's said, that's hey, found offshore, you can hey, everybody, I'm busy stuffing my face, so I'm only listening a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Angel said P -p pass <laughs> Boring said y'all smokers John Boy said Grey Wolf if for catfish at least 30 pounds Yep Boring said I got smoked out by the grill Doing a rack of ribs tonight for myself Willie said ear P -p 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 -p. Man That fire needs to be Closer what? Closer. Yeah. We need to be closer to it, is what I mean. Did you see what I did with this Cabela's bag? No, I wasn't paying no attention. I was busy. It's got, I keep the rebar and the hammer in there. Mm -hmm. But one of these is a catfish box, one of them is a cart box, even though, because I have cart gear. Yeah. Even though I haven't really started fishing cool. for them. Got the light in here. Good job. That was yeah. There you go. You need car for catfish. Yeah, fish. You get to grab your bag and take off. Hey, you know what else you can do? I just noticed something. You know what else you can do? What? You can take that strap. And you can run it through them holes on that rod holder. You kind of put that bag inside it and run that strap up through them holes on your rod holder. And carry it like that? And you can carry the whole thing. Oh, yeah? Oh. I'm, I'm still wondering if the higher version of the rod holder or the shorter version of the rod holder is better. I don't know. I mean, the handles still fit down in there good, but <laughs> we may start doing the smaller, the shorter version because I think sometimes it may get in the handle the way. Hey, fluffing stuff. We're done fluffing stuff. Now I may have to adjust my camera again. Well, look at that sky. Full moon again. You should see it on the screen here. <laughs> Lisa said, now, Cindy has trouble getting the rods tonight. I'm really going to be worried about her since it's not straight rocks. I, I managed to get to the rocks mostly last night. Now, the time when the sturgeon got on, I couldn't get over there as fast as Travis because that, that those rocks were like walking on shale. Shale rocks. They were all flat and... Yeah. You need to take up there. Those rocks aren't caves, Mid South said. It's good to see you, Fluff. Yep, we got the guard dogs on the tiger rods and some uh, thread fin for bait. Yeah, I should be able to get to the rods tonight. <laughs> 
actually like me so far. Dale said, I thought for a minute, Travis, that she wanted you to pick up the fire and move it closer. <laughs> well, if he could do that for me, that'd be great. <laughs> He knows about anything I ask. If I say anything about a fire or anything, guess what? But he's the one that said we need definitely needed a fire tonight. I was just wanting to burn up that garbage. Actually. Yeah. Sometimes well, there's a mess down here. People leave under. I know because I'm afraid that they'll up. stop us from trying to fish down and the people. And so I said, Travis, move the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up and move it over here. Could you do that for me? She's sitting over right next to it now. Do you want to move over here too? No, I'm fine. Rebel River Cat said, I just subbed John Boy. I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm trying to go through in my lives and make sure that I'm subbed to everybody. And I'm also trying to make sure I get, I've got all your, the bells rung so that I don't miss anything that you have. I try to, try to at least watch your shorts. It's hard. There's a lot of you. <laughs> Mike Young said, I think the tall ones would be good for my 10 foot rods. Probably. And those, uh, the ones that like that are the little bit taller ones. So that'll work. As soon as we get a box made for it and I get to the post office, I'll let you know how much it's going to be to ship it. And then we'll figure that I'll hit that'll be with, i'll hit it with some that green over at yellow that'll be that'll figure into the price i mean we're still trying to keep it as affordable as possible but fluff and stuff said we went out fishing on the weekend and managed to fill up our freezer woohoo that's always good to have fish in the freezer lisa said maybe not mid south maybe not but you Money. We're done, Money. Look at here. <laughs> he said, Did somebody say campfire? <laughs> hey, Josh Thompson, what's up? We're done, Josh. Money, I swear, he can, wherever he is in the whole United States, he can smell our campfires. I can't figure out how to get this campfire in the video, though. Yeah, you had back way up. Mm hmm Adventure America. More wood put on there. We ain't going to have no campfire. Adventure America said, you all are awesome. I have to say, uh, the chat's awesome. yeah, the chat is awesome. I, I fully say that I probably have the best chat of, out of any lives I see on YouTube. Have the best people. John Boy said, I just sub subbed you, Rebel River. Uh, Monty, um, Adventure America and Miss Ad Adventure are uh, Angela and Troy. And they're from Corpus Christi, Texas. Fairly, they've been doing YouTube about four months. So, but they're awesome. They've got some really good content. So, I said, Monty, I've been wanting to try your guard dogs. If you'll send me 10 free, if I like them, I'll already have 10. <laughs> You're such a butt. Hey, Joe McGraw. It was a, stu a stuttering sturgeon. Yeah. It slapped me in the face. You see it slapped me, Joe. <laughs> He's got it all worked out to where it works in his favor, don't he, Monty? He said, LOL, mid south Wow, you've got it all figured out. <laughs> that was my first surgeon. And like, now I want to catch another one, but yeah, I just don't even know. I'm sitting right beside this fire. I don't want to speak out of turn, but Monty is running a BOGO offer. If you buy one for twice the price, we'll send you the second one free. <laughs> Morgan said, come on, Tightwad. Sorry, Cindy messed up the typing. It's okay, Joe. I, I figured out.
Adventure America said you do, Cindy. I agree. Yep. Me too, Angela. There's enough wood back here for me to build me a cabin back here. Is there? <laughs> Monty said, awesome. Hey, Angela and Troy. Josh said, looks cozy and great rod holders. Bring a couple to our store to sell, Travis. Was it? Sure not. I'll bring some. Yep, he'll get some made up and bring them on down. They work really well, and it, I like it. We were using Travis's th that holds four there when I caught that 50 pounder from the bank, and it held up like a champ. We've, we've been using it for a long time now, them rod holders, and they work real well. Craig Burgess said, Thank you, Cindy. I like the show. That boat wasn't abandoned. The seat's too nice. It's been there forever, Mid South. They use it at Poland Creek. It's well, way up on the Somebody owns it around there. They just leave it laying there. Right. Water goes. I think it's the first year they've left it there. Nobody's bothered it, though. No, nobody's messed with it at all. But, you know, it's it's kind of wild how far it is up on the bank. <laughs> there ain't no getting that thing back in the water, really, unless you had a couple of people, a few people to pick it up. It's so far up on the, where the waters went down. I didn't figure it was, but, you know. Joe McGraw said, yes, they always seem to get you one way or another, Cindy. Yep. Another smoky fall. I get. I mean, I, I really think they do it on purpose, these catfish slapping you and stuff. They're like, ah, I got this tail I can use. They're, it's like a, you know, an alligator slap you with a tail on purpose. So, catfish be doing it too, and the sturgeon. Fish just do. It's their only weapon, so they can just knock you. Now, just so everybody knows, this is what happens. When you don't have a guard dog on. Jigability said, watching from across the river is always Cindy. That's yep. what happens. Right? That's what happens when you don't have a rod holder. Good rod holder and a guard dog on. Right. If you got the guard dog on, you might hear it before it gets yanked in the water. Right. And if you got the rod holder, well, it can pull drag before it. Before it's going to go under the water. Otherwise, you're going to lose your reel. Otherwise, somebody down the road is going to find your fishing rod and it's going to kind of look like this. Yep. And then you ain't going to have anything to fish with. It for turns into an day. ugly stick. Really said, like a sturgeon caught for the very first time. <laughs> there we go. Josh right. said, we are doing Saturday parking lot flea markets. Bring your rod holders. Who is Josh Thompson. Oh, really? I can make a bunch of them up. He also has a bunch of stuff to sell at a flea market. Yeah, I got too much stuff. <laughs> I was talking to my brother the other day. I need to have a big yard, so. Yep. I've got. So much stuff. I've probably got two buildings of tools. I've got a whole bunch of clothes and stuff that I cleaned out my closet. i got to get that stuff out of my room. Great Wolf said, has anybody heard from Danimo lately? I saw him. He was in here just a little while ago, Skip. He was just in here. Something's eating over. He had went and bought a TV and had got Chinese food. So <laughs> he, was, he was. Oh, that's right. He did, didn't he? He was eating and unloading the car. Said, darn it, I missed him. I haven't seen him in a while. He might be back if he gets everything done. Oh, we can't stay out too awful late tonight. So I got I to be up at 3.40 in the morning. Hey, Scotty. Hey. <laughs> he's, hey, not, Scotty. he's not in here, but we're hedging. Hey, you know. Scotty. What's up, Scotty? Hey, Scotty. Jefferson said he did say he might be back. Hey, where's Penelope? That's what I want to know, because if we ain't got Penelope, we ain't, we ain't going to catch no fish. What's up, JG? What's up? Where's Penelope? Welcome in. Where's the little pineapple? Oh, goodness. You ain't got a, you, she ain't got a pineapple. What's the, what's the matter with? It? Has everybody seen the little baby pineapples? It's a pineapple. Huh?
Now that moon is full as can be. I don't even know if we need a light out here. I just won the last one. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah, That's right. he you got want, it too. He did a mail call. If we catch fish, we'll give a pineapple away. Yeah, I got a light right here. Penelope. Or the Penelope. It's a Penelope. I don't Penelope. know if everybody's seen the, the baby pineapple. It's tiny little baby, baby pineapples. pineapples. And they're not upside down. Penelope might be a swinger. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but there we are if we catch fish we'll give away the closest Pineapple. without giving up going over Cross the right rules look the, what skeeter for a second. oh she's, she's on the skeeter hunt <laughs> you don't know what that, that shadow of penelope not scared of fish off you think no she's a giant <laughs> Troy said, don't turn it upside down, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Dang pineapple, nice, Travis. <laughs> Josh said, Shelby and I caught 31 pound and a 35 pound on watermelon Kool-Aid with major melon Mountain Dew mix. That's a lot of combinations. Wow. <laughs> Awesome. Look over there. Josh said, bring it all. <laughs> Why well, it would cost me a hundred dollars to bring it down there and buy it. It really would. <laughs> I'm go down there and pull it. Yeah, it cost me a hundred dollars to go down there and buy it. That'd be like going fishing. She's a meerkat. Angela said our granddaughter adores hedgehogs. She's a meerkat, and she can only that that meerkat came from um, Australia. I tried to look for one in the United States that with the little pineapple costume on, and they don't have them. They have them at, apparently now. Australia still has Woolsworth stores, and as that's where she came from is a Woolsworth in Australia. But she's came all the way across the world, halfway across the world, and now she's here in. East Tennessee. Wow, Randy said everybody's name. And then he said, anyone else I missed? Hey, y'all, all y'all come in, sit back and enjoy. Johnny Paul Pepper, Small Pepper said, no BS is a swinger. <laughs> That's such a loaded question. <laughs> well, the pineapple looks like a hedgehog, yeah. John McGraw said, yeah, he is, Johnny. Ask him about their new lures they have. Yeah. That's not our lures. That's Tony's lures. Yeah, that was Tony's. We need to get some to give away on live, though. Yeah. Travis had those those heads I win, tails. Oh, heads I get tail and tail I get heads coins. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. We'll get one of them out. We'll get one of them away. But, um. We need to do a giveaway for your... Whatever it is, fifteen thousand or whatever. I'm probably gonna do a fifteen thousand subscriber giveaway, just because you know I haven't done one in a while and they went out of business here in the eighties. Yep, Woolsworth. Hey, what's up, Joshua Perum? What are you doing, Josh? <laughs> Angela said it's awesome. It's from the future. <laughs> Yeah, see, she gets it. She definitely gets it. See, yes, someone I can talk to time travel about. It's actually time. She's out of the future. There you go. Yeah. See? Can we go back in time? <laughs> we can make time stand still. If we can fly fast enough to the other side of the world. <laughs> Troy said Cindy will hit 15,000 tomorrow. And it'll take a little longer than that. Okay, Johnny Small Pepper. She probably he said hope to be back. I'm ready for your lives again. Uh, they're always a lot of fun. And there's no, you get so far behind in chat. It's pretty comical. But your chat rolls so fast, it'd be hard not to get behind. 
You're talking about pepper, 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 pepper. <laughs> Angela said, we need to stick together, Travis. That's right. <laughs> Not everybody understands or appreciates the time travel talk. That's right. It's like my driftwood talk. Travis does not appreciate my driftwood it talk. It goes on and on and on. Listen, he got me under the bridge one night fishing. Yeah, I got and there was the bridge and showed her some wood. <laughs> he was showing me wood under the bridge. But anyway, uh, we were under the bridge fishing. There was a crap ton. Of, you know, I don't know if it's the bridge being there or the way it is. It accumulates back in there. And I was tired. I hadn't had enough sleep and stuff. And so I started talking about driftwood, and I was making stuff up as I went. So in a, in all in all, I got her under the bridge and showed her some wood, and she talked about wood for two hours. <laughs> I and talked and talked and talked about uh, driftwood, and I made stuff up about float wood and sink wood, and <laughs> talked and talked and talked about. It. He was like, on, he was man. like, oh my god! So now every time I ask him if he wants if, if he wants me to talk about driftwood, he's like, no. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't ask her. <laughs> I'm an I'm an authority on driftwood now. Driftwood that gets all waterlogged and sinks is is sink it's sink wood. Hey, I'll tell you what this hook is. Float wood is not dried out yet. It's just fresh wood that's in the water. It's not not turned into driftwood everyone, yet. Everyone just lies. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> What were you gonna say? I will just sit back and listen for a while. <laughs> he showed her some wood. Angela said she's laughing. God have mercy on us and let's catch fish. Did I say sink wood? I meant it's sink wood, not sinked. Sink wood. I did say sink wood, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> Joe McCross said hardwood, Cindy. It was hardwood. <laughs> I didn't see any pine. It was all hardwood. It's my favorite kind, you know. <laughs> you just had to get it started. Mo dog, hey Mo dog. He said I had wood under a bridge once with crystal. <laughs> Yay! Crystal got wood under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> It is Sydney after dark already. Jefferson said Montgomery Wards was about to close as we had to Amazon here back in the day. Yep. I remember a Montgomery Ward in Marvel. Mer Marvel? Marvel. Marysville. 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 Why do you say it like that, Burr? Marysville. Sinkwood. Sink wood. Sink, sink sink wood, wood is sink wood is wood that is in sync with other wood. <laughs> See, I told you I can make this stuff up. I can go on for days. There is sink wood with a T. He's a wood expert. <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> Mo Dog said mine was definitely all wet and watered down. I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> nice Mo. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Otter cat's in here too. They know the otter cat. Otter cat said, "I always get here just in time." Yeah, you got a, <laughs> you got, you got a sense of time to show up for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he's gone. We're doing it again here. How can it be so far apart and doing the same thing? You may be still there. You may still be. Maybe come back to it. It didn't hook him, so yeah, I think he came in with it. <laughs> <laughs> This chair, I'm fixing to have to throw it on the fire and uh, bring out my other one. It's about well, it's done. Probably different if it would. <laughs> <laughs> Josh said, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if, wood, if it was his wood, not driftwood? <laughs> <laughs> I, I started to go on with the whole thing. 
otter always the best timing well uh, to be honest otter there's all kinds of opportunities for you to come in and it be the same result once it derails it kind of stays there gray wolf said hey mo dog i had to send your friend request for my new facebook account the old one was hacked joe said you got your mind and lure in the swamp cindy always joe Life is too short to be serious about things. My dog said, with the boat, I hid it in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Troy said, my dog, you showed up at the right time. <laughs> Angela said, send your live streams always make me have sore ribs and tears. You're welcome, Angela. <laughs> it it kind of hurt. That one night, I laughed until the back of my head hurt. You ever do that? Heck yeah. <laughs> it's like crap. I have to stop laughing. The back of my head's killing me. That was kind of a weird bite. Autocat said, Fishing with Mo Dog, what's up, Wetwood? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony said, Randolph the Gray, you shall not pass. Hello, Tomater and Randy Tomater. <laughs> My dog, is that the mother of your children you're talking about? <laughs> ben South said. <laughs> Troy said, put the wood away, Travis. No. Never put the wood away. Listen, when you get our age, you never waste wood. <laughs> I'm saying out of the wood conversation. Mo Dog said, Hello, Mike, flip the kayak snow. <laughs> oh, God, I'm dying. I'm getting smoked out here. Angela said, Hello, Randy. Not sure if I said hello. Mo Dog, I ain't flipped a kayak all day, Mid South said. Skip said, I was voted class clown in 1988 when I graduated from high school. I decided I wasn't going to stop. That's it right there. Ah! Oh. <coughs> real, real, real. He's coming at you. You already surfaced? Mm -hmm. You already Yep. You gotta get them. Come on. You going down? Am I going down? Mm hmm. Ooh. I will. See, a little bit. Do that. Looks like catfish. Blue cat. Yeah. Kill the sitting down, sir. You good? Mm -hmm. Turn yours that way, and I'll come back and get you. Mm. 
<clears throat> he was so good at that bottom lip. Mm. So, if you guys want to guess the weight, we'll give away the pineapple. Start now. Somebody hit start in there. Say like start. We'll give him. We'll weigh him up. What did we do with them scales? Get them out of the smoke. Get them out of the smoke. We need that overhead light, don't you think? That sand from that island is all over these scales. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Okay. This is good. Okay. And there you go. Guess the weight. Guess the weight. We're going to give it until 8.47. We'll go. Let the fellow it's 8.46 go. right now. Oh, we're going to let him go first? Okay, we're going to let him go. When we get back, then we'll... Then we will... See if we can get her down the bank here. Go straight down to that one right there. Seven. Yeah, let me check them first. This one's solid. And then go here, here. Go to your right. Line. Okay, you should be good there. Be too muddy. Maybe there's enough water in here for you to get out there. Let go. Let go. <laughs> here, hold this. He's like, uh, this is not enough water for me. Thanks, but uh, going to require a little deeper water. Okay. Who all did I miss? Miss Sandy Toes? I will say hi to everybody that's come in. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> he motorboated right on out of there. Oh, he's swimming around still. See him. See him, fish. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no. There's a piece of wood. Mm -hmm.
She said, there's a piece of wood. <laughs> you didn't have to get it. <laughs> Here is a, a lot. Okay. Boy, he took that and went slap over with it. Okay. Go back over here and see if I can get caught up. All right. Stop the guesses. Hey, Sandy. Saltus moon tonight, Cindy. Okay. Listen, I, I move quick when I can get over the. I don't have rocks to. I can get to them rods. It was probably driftwood. <laughs> Y'all ever notice how Travis isn't on camera when a fish hits and then she goes and gets it and Travis appears? Mm-hmm. Like he puts on the fish on the rod and instantly strolls up from out of frame. Turd. Turd. Yep. I keep having to move out of smoke. Tony said all I saw was ass and a bent rod. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ben Sal said she runs much faster when I'm chasing her. Travis and his frozen blue cats. They're not supposed to notice that. Okay, let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Eight, seven, six, six, seven, eight, six, nine. It was a pretty catfish. Nine, eight, five, seven, six. Okay. I'm going to change my guess. Someone went two whole tenths, a hundredths above me. <laughs> Mid south. Slap it, Travis. I did it with a channel cat. <laughs> we don't have a banana. Of course, it was fucking Anthony. <laughs> okay. We stopped now. What oh, pineapple? Here. Get the light. One of the lights. What? Oh. Cindy, uh, uh, I have Hank. I already have Hank. I'm starting a fruit salad collection. Yes. Everybody said stop, right? Randy said Travis takes me the answer. My dog said it's got to be six nine. These little pineapples we found at the Cracker Barrel. So they're cute. They're very small. They make Penelope look large. But that's why we're giving away. Randy said Travis and my copy numbers though meant mud south. All right. He was waiting to splash me. Are you ready? I'll tell you this little number. I scrolled all the way up. Have you got to start and a stop? We're stopped. All right. 7.40. All right. Because Sandy said, mid out, there's nothing you could ever do that could outweigh the, outweigh the disappointment I have every day not waking up as a unicorn. mid out said, Sandy, if you expected better from me, that's on you. <laughs> that's fine. So who won? mid out said, 7.40. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Joe said, now take the sinkers out, Travis. Oh, okay. 
He'll come back to have his sinkers removed later. Yeah. Jefferson said, nice, wasn't that far off at least. <laughs> Did Jeff win it? Six point nine. Jefferson? <laughs> Tony said Jefferson. <laughs> you couldn't have beat the six point nine, could you? It was a winner every time. Congratulations, congratulations, Jefferson. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff. <laughs> Are you sure it's 7.40, 6.91? Who said 6.91? Oh, it's South Hush. <laughs> it sounds like you won, Jefferson. Oh, well, you can. Uh, who was the next closest then? Am I going to have to go look? <laughs> it sounds like me just now. He wants to pass on it. He don't want the little pineapple. But Jefferson, you came the closest on weight. Is that not awesome? <laughs> Mintel said me at 6 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 one <laughs> Take the pineapple, Jefferson, Joe McGraw said. Penny nipple, penny nipple. Anthony at 6.8. Tony was the next one, Randy said. Yeah, I look up in that rod's down like, I don't know, instinct takes over. I'm like, vroom. I'm a winner just by doing that, Jefferson said. <laughs> Sandy said, hang the pineapple upside down on your door, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Man, South don't get it at 6.80001. <laughs> Did you do it before the stop? For real? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I'll send it to you. Whoever wants it. Jefferson, if you truly do not want the pineapple, which, you know. Joe said, Jefferson, we're sending you the pineapple, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson said, ha ha, Sandy, nah, I don't swing that way. <laughs> I did, but it was my second guess. Anthony gets it. God, I'm going to quit giving away, giving stuff away if y'all quit arguing over who doesn't want it. <laughs> Wilson said, bring it. <laughs> okay, Tony, I need your address. I'll send you some daggum stickers too, have I ever? I don't think so. <laughs> Angela said, congrats, whoever won. <laughs> so confusing time. I know it. That's why I'm always like, hey, whoever won, whoever, you know, y'all. Y'all decide who won. Jefferson said, I think someone else would like to have it more. I do appreciate it a lot, though. Well, if you want it, I mean, I, I like I have a few more to give away uh, down through time. We bought all they had. I need to go back by there and see if they've got any more of them. Joe said, just send the lures, Tony. They really like them. Hey, Bill Reddick. What's up? Welcome in. Mo Dog had nine. <laughs> Jefferson said, Yeah, Wilson could use a buddy. Tony said, Yeah, twice. Stalker, the coin, and then the $2 bills. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'll have your address. I forgot about the $2 bills and the coin. I forgot about sending stuff to Kentucky. See, I have Alzheimer's sometimes. But, yeah. Now, <clears throat> I've also got stickers to send out to somebody. 
<laughs> oh, I've got an email address. I mean, I've got an email to do that. So. Somebody wanted stickers, though, on here one time, and I couldn't remember who they were after live. I don't think I ever did get to them. I kept asking on lives. Pineapple would probably bring more luck than Wilson. Any, this pineapple is super portable, too. <laughs> Bobby, hey, he said the world is coming to an end, y'all. Clips tonight. Well, if that last solar eclipse didn't work in the world, and the one that's coming up on the 8th didn't. So I'm going to get it right sooner or later. You know, I have to be at work at five, so I'll miss it. That's about when it's happening. Well, I'm glad we got the skunk off the bank. That third rod jiggled just a little bit. Of, it's probably bait hitting the line or something. Man, I tell you what, that little fish pulled that line over and pegged it, stayed. I love the way blue hits. But it makes my soul come right out the sun to the top of my head <laughs> when I see that when I see that thing bent over. I'm like, Wah! At least you can get to the rods quick tonight. I can. I should have put them down yonder so you had to go down that bank. You're awful. <laughs> it's I said Mo Dog thought it was a bass and pulled the tail. <laughs> The lures would work well in the mid south. <laughs> Think Tony won the three dollar bill. <laughs> Joe McGraw said. Tony said, "I keep forgetting Wilson. Actually, poor bastard. Even when he saw Penelope, he didn't like roll on up." What up, sucker? What doing, sucker? You hearing the mice, rats? No. Oh, okay. I was just wanting to see you. Hey, do you know what, what we've got on which rod? What did that... Uh... That's what I was sitting there trying to figure out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. What'd you put back on there? Just get that. Sandy said, hey, Mofo and Teresa, because we've got... Um, you put white bass on some of them, didn't you? Yeah. Otter Cat said, I didn't see a skunk. I can smell it, though. Randy Rotten Toes. <laughs> Sandy, I'm not trouble. It's worse. I'll be sad. Sandy said, worse than trouble, are you being admitted to a center? John Boy said, I forgot your email, Cindy. Do you need it again? It's in my about section. Or there it is across the bottom of the screen. Jefferson said, just don't lose him to the sea and it'll be okay, Anthony. Friends, no. What's up? Fresno was the winner of a Mad Cat's reel, a rod, not reel. And that Channel Cat tournament. That smoke is something. Aaron said, I guess there's two Randys. So Randy Rotten Toes is Sandy. And Swain's song by Zeppelin is Swain. <laughs> Got to be able to tell the difference somehow.
Okay, it said, Randy, old gray hair swain, don't be like Mo Dog and get in trouble for copyright infringement. I'm going to make some in a day or two. The turning winner himself, he said, yay. Jefferson said, Driftwood puts out a lot of smoke, I guess. <laughs> Ain't no doubt. Sandy said it should keep the foot freaks away with that name. <laughs> right, Sandy? <laughs> Tony said, you're right, Sandy. I need to take him to the titty bar. <laughs> if you weren't so neglectful of your relationship with Wilson, he might be more forgiving. <laughs> Takes a lick and Randy Rotten Toes. That's what he calls Sandy's Randy Rotten Toes. <laughs> He's such a goat. Jefferson and some driftwood stinks when it's burnt. Sandy said, I think you owe him more than a titty bar, AJ, to make up for all you've done. He left him and went to California for like three weeks. Poor old Wilson just moldering away. Now, listen, if you take him to like a soccer field, that might be more Wilson speed. You know, they have them like pink soccer balls and the ones with the colors. Those are female soccer balls. So go hook Wilson up. Penelope's sitting right out there. Tony said, man, I feel so bad about Wilson now. Jeez. <laughs> uh. Scotty, hey. Hey, Scotty. Scotty, hey. I feel bad about Hank. He's lost in translation. So, anybody know where Hank is? <laughs> hey, Gail. Hey, all I'm back from sunny Florida. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I think it's a good idea to take him to the soccer field. Tony said, no, nah. he said he was never into balls, especially on women. <laughs> Angela said, poor Wilson, he needs a Wilma. Maybe he'd do better. Well, if it's. If you don't want balls, then the tennis ball won't do. None of the balls. Hmm. I don't know what to do about Wilson. He made it to hug, did he? Okay. It's taken forever. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, <not> 22. <laughs> hey, Scotty. That's great news. I'm glad that he made it finally. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gail Force, do you not always walk into a unique chat when you walk into my chat? <laughs> For real? What was it? What was it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you almost got attacked by a black beaver. I took off. 
Oh, okay. He he was the black beaver was afraid of you. I grabbed that driftwood. Amazing that time. He come jumping out of them bushes. <laughs> Scotty, it's certainly good to see you. I don't think I've ever seen a black beaver like it. Really? I mean, he was huge. Was he? They're big. His body was big as round as me. Aaron said, I hope you have you all have fun filling out customs. Ugh. I'm going to have to hire two or three people to fill out customs because you got to put a, a, an exact description and a weight. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. 922 said Wilson had better chance at the ladies, LML. Jefferson said, Aaron, I can only imagine. Travis is going to help me fill out customs forms. Because guess who bought that nanner? <laughs> When I bought the nanner and gave it away, <laughs> yeah. it was going to one person. The one that wanted. And it ended up going halfway or all over the United States. That's a that's a traveling banana right there now. I need to know where it is a traveling banana. It went California, no, Oregon, sorry, he went to Oregon, Oklahoma, New York, Ohio, Georgia, wherever Huck is, and then it's going to Texas, then back to Tennessee, then to Australia. The girls love his hair. I bet that's some nice hair. Mid South said, I love being attacked by beavers. <laughs> Aaron said, I put a lot of shit in that box. The longer I had it, the more I wanted to stuff in. <laughs> Damn. Jefferson said it was pretty full when it left here already. <laughs> Muskrat don't count as beavers, mid. <laughs> Anthony says. Sandy said, we are not making the box bigger. Gelfort said, oh, that smoke looks cool. Mid-South said, it never came here. 922 said, AJ, that was a sewer rat. That was no Gail Force said, by the way, I got a fishing story. Hey, Queen Hess, what's up? Indiana, Georgia, New York, Ohio, Wisconsin, Texas, and back to Tennessee. And it also went to Oregon. Where's your phone? What? Because I need to take a picture of this. Or I might be able to do a screenshot. I don't know. I got it. Yeah. Yep. It screenshotted it by where it where all it went. Yeah, only Oregon is in there too. Oregon, Indiana, Georgia, New York, Ohio, Wisconsin, T Texas, and Tennessee. We just caught a uh, seven pound, four ounce blue cat. Otter cat, travel Otter cat said, traveling banana, the good old days. I tell you what, it's been everywhere. Ned Cell said, Gail, keep that damn fishing talk out of this. Where do you think you are? <laughs> Jimmy James Bailey, hey, what's up? He said, hello, no BS. Hey, what are you doing? Joe McGraw said, Cindy, can y'all see the lunar eclipse from where you're at? It looks very cool. It's not happening yet. It shouldn't be happening until uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. The thing about it is, I got to be at work at five, so I'll probably miss it. I'll probably already be at work. The last lunar eclipse we had, I was at work already and couldn't go out and watch it. 
Does it happen early in the morning? Gale Force said, Mid South, I promise it's worth it. I'm good, Sandy. Tell us about yourself. I hooked a peacock bass in Florida. Just landed home today. Only it wasn't a peacock bass. Tell us. <laughs> I hooked an otter. An otter. No, you didn't. Man. Oh, man. How did you get? Did you break it off or what? Hank, I know you didn't get that around that otter. Jefferson said, Hank was cool to ha hang out with. No banana ever made me smile so much. Everybody ha has had a, like a, the best time with Hank. Take hey, him, they take, take him off into fishing. the woods. They take him off into the woods. They take him fishing. I didn't get any pictures from Ashley, but I've gotten pictures from like everybody else. I was going to make like a little slideshow or something showing where all it had been and what all the, the, the adventures of the banana Hank. So I need pictures. Tell. If anybody talks to Hook, tell him. Oregon, Oklahoma, Indiana, Georgia, New York, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, Texas, and back to Tennessee, and then to Australia. Yeah, we bought this little banana, and it's been all over the United States. We gave it away in a on a giveaway. The box I got my stickers book. today, so email me if you want some. Queen has said, "You got new stickers." Sandy said, the night is young. I have potential yet. I bet that was one pissed off otter. I can't imagine. I bet he was trying to hurt you. Are you told now? No, I'm about to have to scoot back. 922 said, so pissed. And yeah, I was scared. Shit, I'm from Jersey. And we ain't got those nasty <laughs> bastards. So I reeled in a little. So I reeled in a little and cut the line. Thankfully, I hooked its paw so it got loose. Oh, man. He got it loose under the dock. Okay, that's good. I would just got more of yours. I'm gonna When I do my 15,000 subscriber giveaway, though, I've got, like, extra of yours, Queen Hiss. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be giving away sticker packs. I've got quite a few stickers, so. You got the JB Weld. Cool. Awesome. Who did? Hunting and stuff. Oh, okay. What about my, what it, about Michelle? It, it was okay. It came in one piece and stuff. It wasn't spilled. I haven't heard from Michelle. She hadn't got it as of the other day, but her Atlanta's got a bunch of mail messed up down there. So my buddy who owns the house I was fishing at was howling and laughing at me. I bet. <laughs> Look at this fire, y'all. Oh, that's fire. I'll tell you what. God. What? <laughs> come here. Huh? Come here. I'm staying away from you. No, come here. Nope. Why? Because. You done had her over there talking about wood or something. I don't know what you got <laughs> doing while I was gone. <laughs> So I said, I'm not sure whether to eat it or smear it. Well, since we've been calling it JB, <laughs> since we've been calling it JB Weld all this time, I, I know I I kind of feel you there. But you're supposed to drink it and eat it, whatever. What was it called? Something about that fire. Hey, Skinner Farms. We're not Skinner. Well, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to ingest it there, hunting and stuff. Yeah, go ahead. And <laughs> Tony said, smear it, hunting. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Skinner Farms? I was supposed to get Skinner Farm Magnet, and I don't think I ever did. It starts at 11.53 and ends at 4.32 a.m. No. Really? Yeah, I'm not going to get to see official it. Bot. Queen West said, oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Skinner Farm said, hey, Hefferson. <laughs> Joe McGraw said, now that's a fire. I would have to. Uh, oh, we got some at Beaverwood. <laughs> <laughs> 922 said, yeah, I would have to come and post every media site I could find. Yep. 
If we can see a beaver once a year, quiet. It's a miracle. <laughs> eclipse starts tonight. I thought it was April 8th. Well, that's the solar eclipse, Sandy. The lunar eclipse happens tonight. There's always a lunar eclipse when there's a solar eclipse. Hmm. <laughs> Monty came out of the woodwork again. Look at that fire, Monty. Monty, if we were to ever like meet and get to hang out with you, we'd definitely have a fire. Now, you realize if he was on the other side of the fire, mm -hmm. they could see the fire. Well, let's move. And you wouldn't get me getting smoked. I'm like 400 yards from the stove now. Well, you can fix that with your camera, can't you? I think. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just. We kicking the fire for. I was kicking that that stick into it more. Come over here, old man. Bring your huh? cute, bring your cute little self over here. Scary. No, you ain't. Get over here. What are you scared of, little old me? What harm could I be? Look, you can't really see the rods from here, but you can see the fire. I mean, I think it might interfere with the fire. What do you mean you think it might interfere with the fire? Gail said 922, too scared. Plus, to be honest, I didn't know if it was illegal protected or if it would have died. Tonight's March 24th. Eighth is a solar eclipse. Yep. I had no idea that there was a lunar one, not like I'd see it from here anyway. You see them at different times than we see ours. See if we can what what? Let me mess around with the settings here. I mean, you can see them. Oh no, that's too far away. You can see the whole fire, though. What do y'all think? Like a long way away. Yeah, let me see if I can fix it. Granny said, then she has to run around the fire to get the poles, and there's also like a lot of two by four sticking out of the fire. Got nailed in it too. Yep. Tony said, facts, Travis. Cindy said, just jump over the fire and, and get to the rods now. That's a show, Tony said. Here, let me fix the camera right, again. Cindy jumped over the candle. <laughs> jack. There you go. Barbecue, it's been raining nonstop for three days now. I can't see anything magical going on, magical going on in the sky. Bobby said, shuffle around the fire. Is she afraid to fall on her arse? I, I, I mean, I've done it so many times on these lives. I bet I, I single-handedly have had more falls <laughs> on a live than anybody else on this, in this whole community type deal. Greg said, I can see the rods okay. That setting is good, the one that's on now. Okay. Jefferson said, yeah, conditions are never great here doing the cool rare stuff, it seems. Bobby said, I've never seen it or laughed. <laughs> I laughed. Is Let's that go, better again? Down there before you kick that face rebar, but yeah, we were here. We were here whenever I kicked the rebar and uh, got it hung in my bib and fell. The one I did the short of. 
but I fell under the bridge. Michelle Mason was here to see that one. She was in the live. It was right towards the end of the live. I fell under the bridge. You fell last night. I fell last night. Got windy conditions all week, Anthony said. Let's see. Uh, I mean, that, yeah, I fell on several of them. I, and I've fallen a lot in front of Travis. Like, I fell on his boat once. Actually, if they would just want to see the rods with Alphafire, they can. Uh, I feel it. They can actually zoom in with the different screen. I feel it, uh, Rocky Point. Yeah, that's when you hurt your fingers. Yep, I think I've fallen there twice. Why well, you two never have those giant marshmallows when you have a fire going? Sandy said. See, I told him, Otter Cat. He said, just have Travis move the fire closer to the rods. Problem solved. <laughs> I tried to get him to. I told him the fire needed to be closer to the rods. Didn't I? He wasn't having it. It would be easy to move the rods closer to the fire. It definitely would. Maybe. They're already far from the water. Well, that little blue cat was just out there roaming around on his own. <laughs> Where are we fishing Wednesday, Travis? Wednesday. Good place. I posted my link. I mean, I posted my live for Wednesday and put today's date and time on it earlier. Mm. Red said. He messaged me and was like, "You, it's to you need to change the day. It's it's Sunday." I was like, "That's Wednesday's live, though." I just didn't change the calendar stuff. Um, Arquette said, "Not as fun, not as fun to watch, Travis." What's not? Sandy said, "Arquette, I just got a text. You're in so much trouble." <laughs> I'm not uh, watching you move the rods. Little on me, Sandy. <laughs> Otter Cat said. Well, that's. Probably, yeah, it's not as much fun to watch you move the rods as it is to move the fire. That. What's up, Sampy? If I had a shovel, I can move it very easy. I'm not a big fan of mush marshmallows unless you're slapping it on a, a Hershey bar with some graham crackers. The smurge. <laughs> what? Smurge. 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 Now that would be in Australia. That would be a cracker, wouldn't it? A biscuit or something. Oh, a biscuit. That's right. Yep, it's going to be fun watching you get in trouble, Sandy said. Whoa. Gail said, some mores. <laughs> Don't catch your hair on fire like your hair. Oh, Skip said, I want to see uh, Travis move that fire with his bare hands. <laughs> Damn. Not me. I like his hands. <laughs> but I bet he could figure out a way to do it. Huh, and stuff said, the can't stir the pot. I can't imagine that happening. <laughs> yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah. What's up? Woo! Look at your hot hands. <laughs> Now your old hot hands. No. No hair burning. <laughs> Shit. Don't set your hair on fire. Did you set your hair on fire? I don't know. I thought I felt the spark when I was moving them. Well, it looked like a spark went up in your hair. Probably have a bald spot. I got the towel and the stickers. LOL hunting stuff. You underestimate our otter cat. Gail said, I got a fireman buddy who'd reach right in and restack that entire fi fire in six seconds or less. <laughs> Dang. 
He had a nice fire going last night. Don't forget to hit that like button, Tony said. Yes. Myself saying, Anthony, I have to show up and hit the thumbs up. Y'all sure are needy. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to put you up, Mid South. You don't really have to if you don't want to. It's a personal choice, man. <laughs> Tony said, I'm a needy SOB, Mid. Hey, Randall. What about Randall? May have been a smart ass comment on my part, Sandy Hunt and stuff said. <laughs> Skip said, Sampy was you in Rustic Slide last night when John Lilly did the giveaway. Jake yeah, sure said. Hey, question for all you smart people. What comes to mind when you hear the words nautical narratives? Some stuff <laughs> I don't want to talk about. <laughs> or hear about. <laughs> talking about. Talking about. <laughs> nautical? Okay. Uh, Water stiffs. Knots. I'm not sure they're hunting stuff. I'm not taking any risk with you lot. Barbecue is in here. He can make any, any more trouble. It sounds like a tutorial on tying knots, Mid South said. <laughs> yeah, I see stories. The narratives, you know, makes it seem like there's a story. <laughs> Gail said, comes the end, change the subject. <laughs> Reading maps, yeah, is what Randy. Tony said, aft, fort, bell, stern, fathoms, nautical mile, currents, barometer, brute, rogue waves, etc. Yakety. Oh, wow, Navionics. that's that's a lot. Is that is that like Navionics? Bill Reddick said, gotta run, folks. Catch y'all later. Later, Bill. Why don't I see Randall? I don't know. I don't see Randall either. But I seen somebody say Randall. You have to put your glasses on, huh, and stuff. That's what Sandy said. I don't see Randall. Let me scroll back. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Maybe they're talking to Randy. Bet they're talking to Randy. Is that who you were talking to, Skip? Mid South said, I can't fathom that. Maybe back later. Okay, Gil. Okay, smart guy, guys and gals. I'm going to read that in the way I think you intended on it, guys and gals. Um, what about fishing fables? Yeah, fishing stories. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I'm not that blind hunting stuff, said. Sandy said, sometimes I like to marinate in the trouble mid sale. Fishing stories that ain't tr aren't true. The fishing lives we tell ourselves. I definitely meant guys and gals. <laughs> I knew you did. And South said, Sandy, I love it when you marinate. All I know is I heard someone said Randall, so I went with it. I read Randall, so I went with it. So, <laughs> Jack said, but what if they were true? Then it wouldn't be fables. I like the idea, yeah. I see where you're going. 
not nautical narratives actually would work, but people there are going to be some that miss the meaning. Fishing fables is what we all say. Some times they're true, and most of the time they aren't true. Sandy said, like a pot roast. Hey, men south. <laughs> men south said, yeah, keep coming up with ideas because when you get a good one, someone will use it before you do. <laughs> oh no, the grass is on fire. It's escaped the circle. Oh no. Oh, Y'all, I need to come up with a way to make money so that I don't have to go in that 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 place. <laughs> not only fish. No, no, it's not. <laughs> if it's true, it's not a fable, right? That's true. Fishing facts or fables would be good. Did you run your fingers? Mm. So did you run your fingers? No, Mid-South Mid said, Sandy, I can't say what I mean because that would make Cindy after dark blush, even Cindy after dark blush, you'd think, Mid-South. Jefferson said, I've never marinated a pot roast. Really? Fishing fact fiction and myths. All good things begin with the letter F. Fables tend to have a moral lesson involved in the tale, Sandy said. My fishing tales are 5% truth and 95%, well, you know the rest. The BS. <laughs> Sandy said, Ella, well, you're just a chicken mid-south. <laughs> you're not a man, you're a chicken boo. I think that was check, what? Check. Yeah. <laughs> she's got to she's got you in check there. Jeff, you're missing out on a world of flavor there. You were you were making the chess reference, weren't you, Travis? Um, Tony, yes, we were smoking grass. It got out of the smoke ring. Or smoke ring. <laughs> it got out of the fire ring there, the rock ring. It was burning the grass. Smoke green. mid -South said, okay, Sandy, what I mean is when you get so turned on that you marinate in your own panties and that's still toned down. Like, he's talking about... <laughs> green jeans. That's a pot roast, Tony said. <laughs> and that is a flavor I love, mid cell said. That's something to try for sure, especially if it's marinated in booze. <laughs> That's the one thing I can eat and not gain weight. Jefferson said, ha ha, he's talking about. Go ahead. <laughs> What a cliffhanger. Chat just stopped. <laughs> Booze or boobs? <laughs> the bakery. <laughs> About what, Jeff? <laughs> That's what we need to do. Somebody start a sentence and everybody else finish it. <laughs> 922 said so was I, Jefferson. And Steph said, I've ate cream corn, but never cream panties. Lord have mercy. 
Hey, <laughs> River River kids. Mitzel said, Sandy, why don't we go to the bakery? Because I need you. <laughs> we inject the roast with apple juice and then it is put on this it's for about eight hours. Dang. That sounds good. Sorry, Mid South, I'm in someone else's shopping cart. <laughs> ain't above stealing you away. It's above me, though. <laughs> And stuff sounds like you need the little blue pill if you can't make the panties. Hey, drink that stuff. I'm gonna need a smoke. And stuff said, "You've got that steel stuff. <laughs> Give it a whirl." <laughs> he ain't made the purchase yet. I'd pay to see you fight them. That would be hilarious. Travis, are you mm -hmm. hanging out for a while after? Because mm -hmm. it's getting close. Oh, it's? Yeah. Sandy said, oh, LOL, ask JBT knows all the facts about the blue pills. <laughs> Gross. Pill. <laughs> Steph said, I've made them cream, just never ate the panties. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. <laughs> Fine. Oh, honey, I'm from the South. I just fire away. <laughs> Uh, Sandy said, well, Bobby has a point I never considered. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's how I said hunting stuff, you poor, poor boy. <laughs> Goodness. I like the way you handle that wood. What said I, <laughs> <laughs> I did. Sandy said hunting stuff is still young. Give him time. And so I said, Sandy, I'll just snatch you away. And oh, yes, I did. <laughs> hey, have mercy. Oh, I know, ain't nothing happening since that one. If I could hang out all night, it'd be good. <laughs> okay. Better the hate to them. I'll start rolling them in. I'm gonna 
Check for bite. Randy said, I just snatched. Oh. Randy said, I forgot there was video going on. I have nothing but text on the phone. LOL. <laughs> well, dang it. <laughs> Poor Otter Cat, Otter Cat gonna be like, what the hell did he just get me into? Bobby said, no crabs, just juicy clam. Good lord. <laughs> Tommy said, clamming. Oh, look at that moon now. I know. That sucker is bright as can be. It is. Sandy said, Otter Cat making more trouble for himself tomorrow is gonna be fun. Mid South said, Randy, you've seen the catfish, a uh, catfish. The video doesn't matter. <laughs> Buttercat said, I'm eating Butter Lover's popcorn. Made a real mess of a keyboard. <laughs> Lord Mintel said, Otter's all lubed up. Video's on the TV, Cindy. Tony said, straight lubed. Oh, with popcorn butter, y'all. Gross. <laughs> Stay away from me with the popcorn butter. No mouse said, sorry, I've been doing grown up things. Have I missed any catching or just fishing? We caught a blue cat earlier. Seven and a half pounds. Bobby said, I will think of some stuff to add to his indictment. <laughs> Randy said, Anon, you have missed a great chat. You missed a lot of craziness. Got a crazy chat. It's an adult chat. It definitely is. And we lost uh, Angela and Troy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mitchell said, not a mouse, get out here if you're going to act grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy said, if you lick your fingers as you go, water clean up is a breeze. Right. Plus, you don't waste any of that popcorn buttery goodness. Our cat said, Sandy, how about a hint, old pal? Sandy said, I just gave you one. Don't get greedy, Otter. And Self said, and no gross. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Mid South, have you ever met a random guy? <laughs> a random person? I had a random person do something nice for me today. It's pretty wild. <laughs> Did everybody see Cindy get slapped last night with that? Uh, if I gave you all my secrets, you never have to wonder discovering them for yourself. Lord, here we go. It's a sturgeon. Wow. Sturgeon smack. Let's let's put this again. put the smack down on me. Watch it again. <laughs> Boom. <Wow. laughs> Bed said, You want me again. to meet someone random? I ain't that kinky. He's showing it again. Mid South will lick anything, Rebel River Cat said. Wow. Boom. Mouse <laughs> isn't gonna act grown up. Right now we have two versions of barbecue in here. <laughs> <laughs> they said, get some strange meat, always fun times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just ask Tony about randoms. Perfect timing, Dale said. Cindy getting fish slapped. <laughs> Mid-South said, Anthony, I don't want to catch something strange. Sandy said... Barbecue, you're acting just as virginal as Mid South was. <laughs> well, what's up, Dale? Mid-South said, just ask Mo Dog. 
Hey, Dildo, Randy said. <laughs> Lord, go. wonder how long that's going to stick around with you, Dill. A little typo, and look what happens. It's sticking with Hitch, too, as far as I know. I ain't seen Hitch since he got back to the States, or, you know, Alaska's the States, but <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't seen him since he got back home. Nine twenty two said Sandy that, that thought was way more than the Autocat's imagination can handle. Well dang. That sounds horrible. I hope that was the train. It sounds like a train derailing. It didn't sound like a, a good thing. Can't help pull the binders off too fast. Poor thing would be overstimulated if we did. That was, the was it a wreck? I'm going to the back of a semi truck. Oh, maybe he was hooking up to a trailer. Yeah, Her We've heard stuff over there before, remember? It sounded bad. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna miss the whole dang eclipse. <laughs> Hello, Sandy, number one catfisher, and everyone not calling me Deldo. I saw this bitch ass earlier. Okay. Uh huh. He I guess you tried trailer stands. Mm hmm. Got caught on them railroad tracks. It sounded bad, didn't it? Mm hmm. Sandy got a text. I'm in trouble on a Monday. Well, dang it, man. Who in the world could it be? Otter Cat said. <laughs> he goes, said, but you're continuing it, dirty old man Randy. <laughs> I said, Otter, are you in trouble or is Sandy? Randy, just remember who the envelope is addressed to, Dale said. <laughs> Tommy said, Dildo, it's official. Can't blame Randy, blame Hitch. When I'm done, Sandy will be already We're hunting said. stuff at. I'm kind of worried about him. Why? He was in here just a little while ago. Well, I know he got that. Oh, maybe he <laughs> he drank the stuff. <laughs> Hitch is behind Deldo, Mitch South said. Anthony, it's his bitch ass fault for sure. <laughs> so, Sandy said, I got a text, but it's Otter who did the deed. Tommy said, Yep, Hitch started the Deldo. I stamped the official nickname for Steven Sego. Stamped it. You already said it was addressed to Lisa. Between Sebastian and, and Bish blaming autocorrect, I think they all knew what they were doing, Dale said. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff said, I'm still here. <laughs> Sandy said, what did Bish do? Lord have mercy. Called Dale, Deldo? <laughs> <laughs> After Sebastian called him bitch, <laughs> it, it just like one it's a, one typo right after another changing people's lives. Sandy said, "If Sebastian was involved, you can guarantee it was on purpose." <laughs> There's no doubt. So three people have new nicknames because of typos. Well, yeah. 
actually. I can't remember these words. I'm sorry, honey. You are right. Please forgive me. Learn to live by them, Bobby said. Mid-South said, just don't get whole dog dragged into this. Sandy, I got auto-corrected to Dale, though. <laughs> I can't say he's in Colorado popping bluebills and tasting dirty draws. <laughs> oh, God. I said 922. Never give in. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So I got to send Tony a pineapple and uh, crap. <laughs> I don't oh, remember. You send some stickers or something. Yeah. Did Skinner say you got a new hat? Queen has got new stickers. No, she's got some more of her old ones. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get you two to autocorrect any words to Delta, and so far I'm unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs> In your share room with Mid South 922C. Share in a room with Mid South. That's dangerous, male or female. <laughs> Sandy said, all the men seem to be getting tired of their functional names and picking up spicier versions. <laughs> <laughs> Tony said, do we need to do a poll post for this, Deldo? Mid-South said, I can't remember these words. I don't have to take this shit. Mid-South can have you. <laughs> <laughs> 922 said, then you will share a room with Mid-South. Not mouse. Yeah, he said he was trying to get any word to autocorrect a dildo. <laughs> it sounds said, like, "Yeah, I'm Gatsy. What about it?" <laughs> Mail it upside down. Cindy Tony said, "Well, you can shake it out of that envelope however you want to." <laughs> brown chicken, brown cow. Sandy said, that's the thing. My autocorrect never corrects it to a better version. It either throws out the spelling wrong or out spelled wrong or I get a PG word. How are you guys doing it? Oh. What? My phone wants to correct everything, to autocorrect everything. To <laughs> <laughs> I typed in something the other day. I was like, no, that's not what I want to say. <laughs> If it starts with a D, then yeah. Somebody was telling me that they uh I don't trust those they calm down Siri. Did they calm down Siri? Yeah, where you couldn't get her to act crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well that sucks. That was fun. What was fun is getting Siri and that other one to talk to each other. Was it Cortana? Cortana. Yeah, that was the AI thing on the laptops for a while. Like one of them. Sandy, I don't want those with crabs from the Pacific Northwest. Zakara Khan said, do you smell what the rock is cooking? Mintel said, autocorrect uses words you've used in the past and frequently, so clean yeah. your shit up yeah. and it will. And maybe not. I did trip over that two by four something. I'm not getting up unless it goes down again. You can reel on it a little bit and see if they brought it in. I don't know. Left rod now. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. 
He hit the left rod again, but it didn't take him. It's right here. It's about causing me a problem. <laughs> hmm. That was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. A little odd. The rock is an anchor, not a shaft. They're typing the other word a lot, it remembers. That's why mine auto corrects everything to that. Mid South, so bitch, had been looking at gifts for Sebastian. I said, Sandy, all I can say is break me down. You've got a lovely face. That one was too far. Sorry. <laughs> Randy, if that's the case, then how can these guys call me a troublemaker? My keyboard is exposing my innocence right now. Our cat said, innocence? Yeah, right. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Stop letting go. Nine twenty two said, "Oh yeah, trying asking Siri to show you yeah, her tits. She gets pissed almost that it was my wife. Thought it was your wife." <laughs> Andy said, "Terrace at the duck over there, swim around, oh. hitting lines." Alexa will not bleep my bleep. I've asked her many times. <laughs> it's out <outside>. then. <laughs> well. Both of them got hit that time. I tried to get Siri to change her name. She refuses to this day. <clears throat> Jefferson said, I won't say much, but I can see how things could be Sandy's fault at least sometimes. <laughs> Whoa. Did it again? Nope. Hey, nope, he's back. Maybe. Let's go over here and get a little bit closer to the rods. Huh? Both of them was getting by. <laughs> I think I hear your beaver over there. Do you? Yeah. Hey, we might be able to go around the corner there and catch him up there. <laughs> hey, he's a big one. Man, if we had Jacob here, we could scare the crap out of Jacob with him. <laughs> Yeah, he's afraid of him. Here you go. Thank you, fish. <laughs> Trying to get Sandy to unleash, but she's held back. Q Mid South. <laughs> Sandy, I'm right here, baby. Wings for my penis, but whoever <laughs> I sat up and said, this. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Dale said, At least Travis doesn't have Cindy walking on bricks tonight. <laughs> I was saying dumb shit to Alexa one night, and she said, did you mean?
<laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> It sounds you were too predictable with Sandy and Bish. Water cat stuff took too many pills, gonna be a while. Is it locked down? I thought it was at first. Thank you. We were definitely chewing on it. Oh my goodness. The white bass one. Looks like the hook is almost back in the bank. No, really. They're all on Oh, they're all on Wah, wah, wah. Travis looks cold. Frozen. Hey, Chucky. What's up? The package says one. Don't try to flush them. You will never get the toilet seat to stay down. <laughs> Zero pounds. Right? Miss Sal said, she's like, you touch it. It stinks. <laughs> Dale said, someone buy Travis an RC bait to run the, bolt, the bait out. RC bolt, boat. I'm having trouble talking. It's I said, Seagull, you know, out of all Mo Dog's friends named Seagull, you're one of my ten favorites. <laughs> Sigo said Modog has 10 friends you know what Dang it. Playing with your emotions. Yep. Always. Must be a channel cat. <laughs> you little turd. <laughs> turd. Hey, at least he's taking it out, Father. Hopefully. And so says he has more friends than me, but that doesn't really answer the question I asked. Greg said, Cindy, you're probably thinking about hardwood. Always in the back of my mind there, Greg. <laughs> I 
Tarkat said my wiggle hoochie should be here in a day or two. Did you really order them? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely knew that be real. Yeah. He probably smells this wood burns like what? Tony said hoochie time. Who wants to go catch the reaver? <laughs> it's a loaded question in this chat. Let's go see if we can spot the beaver again. You want? Go ahead. We got to take them with us. Well, go ahead. What do you mean? Go ahead. You Somebody's got to step here and watch the rods. I think he's got it. Get him real down on him. You game? Oh. You got him? Oh. <laughs> she gonna send me. No fishing. No fishing. Mm -hmm. Little bait things. Oh. Four percent. Ah. Not about sure is a nice fellow, a bit pushy, but nice. <laughs> Right, this old man's going to bed. You'll have a great week. Don't forget in two weeks to go outdoors. We'll be on the Bait Tank podcast. All right. Good. Dale. Good night. Fine, but don't disturb your woman. It's how said. Rebel Rib Kid said, Well, I guess I'll go to bed and play on the salami. <laughs> <laughs> Mitzel said, uh, RRC, fine, but don't disturb your woman. <laughs> <laughs> Tony said, By yourself, Rebel. He said, Not tonight, Anthony. <laughs> 
Good night, Rebel River Chat. <laughs> you, you have a good night now. I know you a will. Good night. Good night. The actress said, oh, all right, this old man is going to bed. Y'all have a great week. Don't forget. Okay, I read that one already. Don't throw me off. Good night, Yaki Poo. Deldo Acure, Yak, yeah, Outdoors, Yak. Del said, Yak even scheduled my favorite topics. Watching my dog catch fish. <laughs> Yak said, I'm going to have to drag Travis and Cindy onto it sometime, too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't sound so thrilled about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want us over there? <laughs> I know it for real. I can behave, but you'll have to get Earl to tell me to. Randy said, good night, Yak. We're close to that, too. Seagull said, Mid, I'm putting the smack down on him this week. Seagull, use the blue pills and lube, Mid-South said. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Okay, I'm going to run around here with my videos. Rebel River Cat said, 33 years and my woman still trips my trigger. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, I've got my video going. Look at how we feel. We weren't even half-heartedly invited. Mid Cell said, I can go with. If you see him, holler and we'll come around. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's great. Me and Travis are, what? Going on, well, we're a little over two years. And it just gets better all the time. In my opinion. <laughs> Sandy said, good rebel means your pops are still working. <laughs> like a guard dog automatic fish hooker rebel. Woo. <laughs> it means way more than that, really. Yep. He said his woman still trips his trigger. He's a good woman. I'm happy for him. That's good. Fifty-one years and my woman charges my battery. It took me three times, but I finally found a good woman. Sandy, I'm one you away from having the perfect wife. Sandy said she plugged you in of a nighttime, Greg. <laughs> if that's what he needs. <laughs> Maybe he plugs her in. <laughs> Good night. Be a fifth, 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 fifth. Mitzel said, Greg, I just didn't have you pegged that way. What's up, Curtis? Want me away? There's another me out there. Good Lord, pray for people. <laughs> I don't think he found the beaver. Still have never used a green a blue pill. A green pill.
Good night, Burrito and Randolph the Gray. Curtis said, who's the company? Seven Rods. Well, it's six, actually. But it's all ours. We were just trying to cover all the bases tonight. Mincel said, holy God, if there was two of you, I'd end up offing myself. It'd be like, this is an amazing dream. And pretend to, to off me and succeed. <laughs> and Greenfield, what's the Greenfield do, Sandy? Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> oh, God. Sandy said. Those are the gas fields, yes, they're in acids. Don't let me get in the way of that dream, Mincel. You look at your maps and find out how long it takes me to get home. The, the green pills and antibiotic on her case in. And Seth said, Sandy, holy damn, you're meaner than Lisa. <laughs> Jefferson said, if there was a woman out there that is parts of all the ladies I know on here, pretty sure the perfect one might exist. Not too much to ask, right? Ha uh ha. -huh. 49 minutes. Okay. An hour. Sandy said, Jeff, do you really want all the bad parts of us combined? Because you can't take only the good parts. Travis got him a good one. Yeah. Woman. Okay, here you show him the beaver, huh? Did you find one? No, but I can see where I was at. This is what Travis is doing while he was going look at him. Randy said, ain't no perfect ladies, Jeff, just perfect for you. Jefferson said, ha ha, Sandy, I was just hoping for the good parts, to be honest. That way they can see where I went. Mid-South said, can I have the naughty bits? <laughs> <laughs> Sandy said, oh, dreaming of two of me and a third me will only lead to disaster. Mid-South wants all the bad bits of us all. Sometimes it takes a few tries before you find a gooder in. Get a gooder in. Mm hmm Rebel River Cat said it took him three tries, but he got him a good one. And uh, Greg said he'd been with his 51 years and she still charged his battery. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rebel River Cat strips his trigger after 33 years. <laughs> Itself said, I was thinking it was the last foursome I ever had. Randy said, I quit looking and then she came chasing me. Mitzel said, Sounds like he'll die hard. <laughs> I think that's it. No, that's not it. He just didn't have it lit up good. He looked all over the place for that beaver. He really did and put in a lot of work there. Mid-South says these things, but he wouldn't be laughing while he's trying to keep up and survive. <laughs> Mid-South said, Randy, you should have run. Faster. <laughs> uh, 
Mm. Here. Yeah. Where are you? Mm. Stop. Second rod. Pull back on it. Hook him in. Not be pretty good for you. Hard tail. Got him? Yeah. Got the battery hooked up to us here. Good one. Maybe a little better than mine. But... I got my feet to poke that fire. <laughs> Are they hot? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. If there's any size to him or not. Well, yeah. He ain't fighting real hard, so it's a blue. I think. About the same size,
<laughs> you don't show you backstage. Did you exit out of it? Oh, okay. Sandy said, Mid South, she has jeans on. Give him a minute. His fish is bigger than my guess. I'll keep taking the loft till I win. Says fish comes out of the water filleted. Whoa. <laughs> You want in there? As long as this is taking you, may have pushed all her buttons. <laughs> it just said, Wow, well, my high. <laughs> <laughs> Don't chew me up. Oh, <laughs> he's whooping my butt. He's mad. Oh, is he biting you? Yeah, there he is. Are we guessing on this one? Are we guessing on this one, everyone? Start. So, and I guess we're going to, uh, I don't know, another pineapple or stickers. I can send out a sticker pack on this one. She said a sticker pack. Okay, I think Randy guessed first. Okay. We'll give it a few minutes. Yeah, let me find the scales. Are they back in the car? No, oh, wherever right you left them. They're right there. You gotta lay back down here, fish, for just another minute. Then I'll put you back in the water. I thought that was gonna be a big fish the way it took off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that clicker kind of makes it interesting. She kind of snuck them grips in his mouth. <laughs> it's like snuck up on it or something. Well, he was opening and closing, opening and closing, so. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Kind of damn, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Probably full of sand and stuff. Okay. Bend over and touch your toes. Huh? Touch your toes. Me? Mm -hmm. Why do I want me to over and touch my toes? I don't know where Do they want me to moon them? <laughs> Y'all are bad. Y'all are bad. I don't know whether to move his camera or not. Uh, don't just uh. I'll just take him and let him go. You want to take him and let him go? Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> video, it. video, video, video. Can you do it? What? Video, video, video. And let him go. I don't know. Don't be ridiculous. You found something that belongs to Mid South? No, oh, Lord. <laughs> Biggin should be moving, yep. If that's my dignity, thank God someone found it. He said, if it's his dignity, thank, thank God someone found it. He said, if it's his dignity, thank God somebody found it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Randy Otter Cat's 7.511 and 7.51. Huh?
Oh, he's right out there in the water. <laughs> he swam back at him. Stop rolling over, fish. There he goes. Maybe. Why do they always swim back into the shore? <laughs> There he goes. Maybe. <laughs> His dignity, that thing was burned at the stake in 1770. It's a deal, though, isn't it? <laughs> you lost your dignity along with your marbles. Did everybody guess the same way? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. <laughs> Nobody wants stickers. It wasn't just mine I was going to give away. I retract my entry because I'm just being silly. <laughs> I thought you were off to play salami games. You should be allowed to play those and be here guessing. Okay. Stop, everybody. Hey, Finn Scott. What's up? I'm going to tell her to wait. He's being stubborn. There he goes, finally, I think. Yep. Did he finally go? Brett. Can fill up my crevice and get a shout out. <laughs> All right, the weight was Go. He said, I win, I guess 6.9. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seagull got it. Found his balls. There you go. Hey, look at that one. I've never seen one like that. It's a crank ball. That was before the deduction for the, uh, for the, Has anybody ever seen a floater rocket? Look, it don't have the bottom piece. Oh. The line slides into it. See, it's got, just got a... Huh. Oh, I found a golf ball. It's an all-American butt, butt plug train. Don't play too much with it too much. It's a nitro four. And these all can be yours. I didn't say stop. What's <laughs> up, Chad? Otter Cat said, I figured in the grip, so I beat Randy. <laughs> of course, the vibration of Delta would pick 69. The line also comes out as the bobber hits the water. Oh, does it? <laughs> I'm on Probably why it floated to the bank. <laughs> so Dale won that or what?
You tell us I said I always pick my nose. I ain't uh. What's this one now? I don't. Do, Dale, do I have your address? Mm -hmm. I said, Dale, do I have your address? Send me a text, text message, or I mean, a message or a uh, email, and I've got to roll. I got to get up at three forty. I will this week. Okay. Okay, Dale Sego. So Anthony and Sego. Anthony and Sego. Okay, Dale Sego. Oh. I'm behind. Yes, you are. And he said, I ought to stop yelling my name and just laugh at it. <laughs> well, that was interesting. <laughs> a good time interrupted by period. What's a 6.9? A good time interrupted by period. <laughs> <laughs> seven point, wait, it was 7.17. I found your mind it was in the gutter, ha ha. Mid South said in England they call that a bloody good time. <laughs> <laughs> in the dark they'd call that an afterthought. An afterthought? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think about it until afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, what the crap? I <laughs> 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 admit that was pretty funny. It was. Jefferson said there was a time it didn't matter either way. Ha ha. <laughs> It sounds said Travis seems iron deficient. No, no, not this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy said, just stop. You guys are gross. <laughs> He's not getting an infusion from me. <laughs> Otter's cat said, I'm here to try and keep Sandy in check. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Chad said, I think some someone got their wings if it's an afterthought. Yep. So I had to say I never did, but Sandy said, Otter cat, you'd have though. better luck turning me into a virgin. It was funny though. Yeah. Because I was picturing in my head them looking at each other afterwards. <laughs> when I'm looking like a vampire. Y'all yeah. <laughs> keep having a great evening and morning. Mid South said red wings are the best wings. Oh my. <laughs> Seagull said time for bed. Yeah, I have got to get rolling, y'all. Hey, at least you hung out for a few more minutes and caught a fish. I did. Yeah, you're going to have to go, though. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm gonna get about. I two. mean, man, it's, I, I start say called at ten thirty, but past ten thirty. Yeah, Randy said. Be safe getting home, Cindy. Good night, all. Randy said. Sandy okay, said. One minute. Don't leave. That means I have to go back to work. <laughs> Too bad the fish <laughs> are just starting to bite now. Jefferson said. I know y'all make me want to call into work. <laughs> hmm. I can't be wasting all my vacation time. It's early in the year. Oh, it sucks. It seems like the fish are starting to move a little bit in the shallow, though, so that's good. Yeah. I mean... We're starting to catch a few, yeah. I mean, it's been almost four hours, and we've got two fish, but... Right. We've had several bites. It was two blues, and it wasn't just some channel cats. No. So... And they had a little bit of size. Some of them are getting up close to 10 pounds, so... Yeah. That means the bigger ones are starting to move. I mean, they're... they're that water starts coming up some more. And bigger babies. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit bigger babies. When they get up into teens, they'll be fun size. Kind of makes me wonder if we should check the, uh, the creek next. Yeah. They may be staging up. Randy said, we have nothing to do with wanting to call in to work, Cindy. You always want to call in. You are so right, Randy. This is very, very true. I'll tell you what. And, I, you know, it's it's not that I don't want to work. I'm bored to death there. Time just drags because I'm so bored. I was not cut out to run a, a, on, on, a, on a line. It's terrible. But, you know, I never, I didn't work factory jobs. My, most of my life I was in retail and stuff, and it's never the same thing. And I worked second shift all my life, too. So this working first shift, I've been doing it for, what, four years or so, and I still am not used to it. Friday night for week. Sandy said, I'm bored to death here. Cindy, want to swap? Well, Man, then, I be, uh, if I was there, I'd be on a beach fishing. I have no idea. Well, I'd be doing the same Sandy thing. Sandy said she wasn't a swinger. She just doesn't know what she's missing out on, Randy. So, uh, yeah. I guess I don't need the rods. I'm going to miss. I'm going to meet Miss. I'm going to meet uh, Cass Blast at some point to fish. Now, I can pull the. Uh, the four rods in real quick. And you can take the guard dogs with you. And you might need your rod holder anyway. I mean, we can yank that stuff up real quick. That ain't no big deal. Throw them in your car. Well, I probably am not going to go tomorrow. And if it's going to rain, I'll, I'll probably just see Wednesday. How are you on now? Okay. Probably need to take him uh, tiger rods up though. That way you can put your rod holder back in your car. Yeah, doubt it. It's not going to fit much in your car. <laughs> Jefferson said that's one thing I like about my job. It's always something different, so I could couldn't ask for better work. And oh, just make furniture and stuff, right? Travis, that fire is swirling like you're trying to set up a portal. <laughs> Smoke is. Yeah, I'm <laughs>
Why is it down here? Knocking us out here. She's at 2%. I'm not going to move her. Why is this thing not charging? Still at two percent. Shows it's charging, I think. It looks okay, though. Yeah. Bring it closer. Ow! <laughs> He's a muddy little guy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Man! What are you doing? He chomped on me good. Oh! Got another one taken off now. Third one. We're still at 2%. That's slow. Pick that up. That gets real if you're going to pick it up like that. Bigger pick? Man, I wish this was more 2% over millions. I ain't cut it. Have that little tail pad. I don't want nothing else to do with that sucker. You're gonna rip me up the Well, it's gonna fall the fall for a little bit more. Man. <laughs> we'll go back in. Oh, he eats you up. <laughs> he was chewing on me hardcore. You got for good. Well, <laughs> and again, Travis was out of the pitch. He was sitting in his chair. The phone won't charge above two percent. <laughs> Oh, dang it. Well, but if you wanted to play rough, you just had to say so. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, that was the best feeling fish all night. Sucks that the bite started. Yeah, on that big old head. Yeah. That's why I lost him, though. He was heavy. Was it? Yeah, he hadn't. He felt better than anything so far. Well, the bite's improving. Yeah. Although... It's late, which kind of sucks about Wednesday. <laughs> well, I'm going to sh shut her down, guys. I got to get going. Mm, kind of sad about that last one. It felt better than any of the rest of them, but I got to go. I got to get up at 3.40 in the morning and go work 11 hours, so it's not going to be easy with no sleep. I've had a real blast tonight, though. Y'all have been awesome. Yeah, first the bag for that. Michelle Mason, hey. What are you doing, Michelle? Hey, did you get your mail, Michelle? Hunting and stuff got his. Yeah. So. I know the mail's, somebody said the mail's messed up down there, but. Thank you, Don R. Welcome in. But yeah, it was a blast to reel in. We got three rods out of the water. We got one in the water. Yeah, Cindy's going to work. Cindy yeah, can't Cindy afford to miss. Got to get up. Otter Cat said, Well, if you're a quitter, see ya. <laughs> you better sleep, no, not texting me, girl. 
I'll get me a napkin because that's about all it's going to be. For real. Okay, hunting stuff got his, so. Been watching us on and off. That's cool. Wednesday, I'll probably do a, a members only wheel for whatever I decide to give away. Then she's going to do a, another $15,000 or $15,000. <laughs> 15,000 subscriber giveaway. When I get to 15,000 subscribers, I'll plan a giveaway. And I'm at 14 for something. It won't take her long. So. All right. We thank everybody for coming in. <laughs> and y'all have a good night. Cindy's got to go drive for a while. And the stuff said to Michelle, the big decision is to eat or smear it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys Wednesday night. And eat it. Don't smear it. I don't think it'll work as well if you smear it. Thanks, everybody, for coming in and come in and hang out with us Wednesday, 6 o'clock Eastern. We'll try and get on some fish again. Yeah, we'll see y'all then. So far, we've been catching a few more fish, so it's been better. <laughs> I feel better. So, all right. Later, guys. Good night.